All very eco-friendly, ecology, e eco, what's it sound? Well, we, it, you literally cannot work with the RSPB until, unless you prove that um, yeah. you have those. Well, that's good. Those um, values. And with every kit you buy, you are supporting the RSPB. So the some of the money charity. from the kit goes to the RSPB? 100%, then. yes. Not 100% of the money? No. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to afford to feed their kids. 100% um, there is money going to them. Yeah. Beautiful. £18. I got you 10% off there. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. <clears throat> then the owl. A uh, owl. Loads of the owl in baskets. Let me just show you the back as well. Remember I said it said, look, look, you get like a ghost on the background. Oh, That's Helen's it. not sure about that one. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, 18 pounds, very, very popular, very popular. Beautiful, right. I've got a 3D Kingfisher. He's got a label on oh, him yeah, as well. Sorry, this is oh, Jan, Jan made this one. That's right, Jan made this one. Jam oh, was oh. I supposed to read out names? No, you these? can, you can. I mean, I took it off the sewing mouse, but the sewing mouse was from Karina. Um, so we, we thought we honour the people who made yeah. the Yeah, why is this one called Second Clive? Second, um, I think it was the second picture that she made. She made one. Clive? No, it doesn't say Clive. Take, uh, love, made with love. I don't know. I need to read it. <laughs> it's not called not Clive. Th it's not Clive. Don't try and get up because you'll fall over. <laughs> right, so which box is this in then? Here, this one. 3D... Oh, it's you making all that noise. No, not Jimmy. No, it's Daddy Adam. Right, so 3D... Oh, you, oh hang on. Can you go from the front? There you go. There he is. There he is. There he is. Have they really got beaks that long? They do, yeah. They do. They go fishing. Well, I know that. They, yeah, but they have to fish a, fit a fish in it, don't they? Okay. £22.50, getting your set. Now, this is a, says a small kit. Is that the small one? It is. Well, it's, the, it's to do with the size of the box. <laughs> but it's actually quite a big make. <laughs> okay. This is, this is my logic. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> why is there a dot, white dot there? Is that what they've got? Because yeah, that's what old do. ballerinas used to do in the old days. Did they? A big white dot and make your eyes look more open. Yeah, no, they, they, they do have a white dot. Shh. Yeah, they're just chatting and joking. It'll go in the shift report. It's not Michael. Michael's not doing it. It's just Jimmy and Daddy Adam. Daddy Adam has gone very grey overnight. Anyway, let's have a look inside the box. So again, you've got... Now, this obviously is a 3D. 3D one, so you need the bolt to make the body with. Mm -hmm. Oh, now why have I got this in here? So, um, you are needle felting the wing onto that. And then attaching it to the kingfisher. Oh, oh, I see. That's it, yeah. So you use that to make the wing. You do. That's right. So you, you make them separate. separate. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry if I've woken you all up. Now, I think I might... I've put air through my earpiece, but everyone's a little bit fuzzy today. I might can't have the air can on standby just to be on the safe side. I've got a new earpiece here, and I just don't know if it's um, sounding a bit blurry. No, look, it's here. I'd love one of the Jeremy Carl ones where you just have a little thing in your ear, but I don't think our system would cope with that, would they? Anyway, shall, we've got a brilliant show today. Shall we do the early bird? Now... Look at this. This should not be an early bird. This is something that we sell perfectly well without taking it down in price. It's a blue fat quarter storage bag. Uh, a pound coming off. Look after pounds. The pounds will take care of themselves, as they say. That wasn't quite right, was it? Ten ninety nine. So now what is it, John? If you've not seen one for... I know some of you have got hundreds of these because people always multi-buy. So it's this lovely bag, right? And it's got the see-through top on it. Look, see-through top. So you can see straight through. Then inside, you open it up like this. Now you can either use it as a big bag like that, or you can use your little walls. And you can do this. And you can do this. And then you can store your fat quarters in it like this. 
or your pieces of fabric like this, or you can use it as a project bag. You've got little pockets at the side here where you can put your scissors in and things. Now, Roxana, she puts hard cardboard in there. To, it makes it into a much more sturdy box. Then, when you're all zipped up, you can see everything that's in there. It's going to keep the dust off. You can keep it under the bed. You can pile them up on top of each other. You can do whatever you want oh, for 10 99 Ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, now, Anne says good morning. Uh, Claire says good morning. Paula says good morning. Oh, hang on, Cat's got even more fabric to put in for you. There you go. The more fat quarters go in there. No. There we go. Message. Uh, morning, John. You look better every time I see you. Josephine, you're very kind. You're very kind. I haven't worn this shirt for years, actually. Thank you. Wendy says, good morning. Liz, is it Liz with triple Zs? Good morning, John. Ready to record the day. I was off to work in a bit. Love the storage bags. They hold a lot from Liz. Uh, what do you mean off to work? She only goes to her bedroom upstairs. No, that sounds wrong. The bedroom, <laughs> the bedroom, is, the bedroom is an office. Could you just pass me that? Um, while you're checking out of these, I'm just going to send some... Um, air through my talk back because it's like they sound like they're under water at the moment so i'll just get that i'll just get that thank you oh, can't even, there we go lovely thank you oh are they saying things about me while i can't hear them Right, yeah, let's just put that back in there. That's better. I obviously had an air block in my tube. At ten ninety nine, you don't get the you don't get the fat quarters, obviously. But look how much you can. I mean, I've only put a few. Now, Kat, can you remember where it all's from? Because all of these aren't things we've got for sale. These are set decorating, and we've been told on no account must we move the set decorating. No account. So, and they're all beautifully folded, look. At 10.99, keep going through Sally. Oh, Auntie Sally's there. Julie Vaughan's there from a sunny St Albans. Derek's in. Crazy Lorraine's in. Have you, have, have you, planted, have you planted your rose yet, Crazy Lorraine? It was Crazy Lorraine's 50th wedding anniversary at the weekend. Good morning, everyone, and John. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and John. Uh, loving your shirt today. Thank you, Michelle, with one L. Michelle, my bell. Morning, John. No, you haven't seen this for... It was at the end of the rail. It hasn't been touched for, like, over a year. I've got similar ones, but it didn't have the pink in there. I have 150... Well, I have more than 150 shirts now because I bought new Liberty ones this week. No, 150, and then I bought six more this week. So I will have to have a clear out to the charity shop. Uh, morning, John, you're looking well. Are you plunging now? Yes, and I haven't done it this morning, but I've got my plunger. I've been in my plunger. Uh, Shirley says, good morning. What, what? Did you ask a question? Oh, sorry. I thought somebody asked me a question. Yeah, I've done my plunge. I've done it this morning, but I will do it when I get home from work today. No, I've not been doing any pictures. There's no, well, no, it's not freeze out this lot. I did it, the first I did it was blowing a gale, and that was really nice. That was really refreshing. But, um, yeah. Well, I've only done it twice so far, so you have to wait. So what you do is you get in, it's absolutely freezing and it hurts. Then you get out and you're all tingly. Then you go indoors and you go suddenly, because your body heats itself up, so it reacts, right? And it, that's lovely as well. And then you go up and have your shower upstairs after that. It's very nice, very invigorating. But you just feel a bit, you feel a bit funny standing in your back garden in a little pair of shorts, get climbing into this tub thing, you know. 10.99, keep going through. Oh, uh, weather was bad yesterday in Cambridge. Oh, 10 I can leave that with you. Shall we look at... Oh, one more message, Anne. Uh, this storage bag is brilliant for gifting and storing, finishing quilt and project projects for the GIs. Jennifer, GI? For the GIs. Takes you back. Anyway, let's look at today's menu. Here we go. So we've got brand new fabric from Liberty, already selling. Uh, it's like a blender fabric. It's called the Liberty York fabric. It's the one where we have one design but in, in about 10 different colours. Then we go to... Well, you see, I don't agree with this. It's not just a sampler cushion. The Delphine Brooks project, first of all. Look, there's a wall hanging. There's a cushion. They're, they're panels, basically. We've got traditional... Uh, no, bright and... Um, 
What's the other one called? Is it called traditional? Oh, it is called traditional. It is called traditional. Uh, it's a panel and a set of instructions. Uh, lovely. Then, uh, uh, then we go on to bag making essentials. I think somebody's been playing with my um, stool. It's way too low. Bag making essentials at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got a William Morris quilt. Bargello, no less. Bargello. Beautiful. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got quilt kits you will love. That's just me on my own. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way, oh, excuse me, hiccup is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by Facebook Live. This one's I've been shouting out. Hillary says morning. Uh, G says morning. Looking forward to my morning of delights. Uh, oh, so am I. Uh, then the third way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You go to the top right-hand corner. Click on watch the live show. Oh, we'll talk about that design and quilt block later in the 12 o'clock hour. Uh, then the white box on the right-hand side there, that's where you can write a message and they'll come up on my bottom later. Scroll down the page and you will see everything that's coming up on today's show. There will be two columns. The left-hand side is things that we've done so far. And this is all the brand new Liberty York there. York, York Fern, it is York Fern. Uh, and then we've got bundles of other fabric, uh, other Liberty fabric, got x ride backing if Roy gets here in time. And I've got some Liberty Shadow, no, uh, Wiltshire Shadow and Emily Bell. Beautiful. Now, if you're wondering why there's a price difference, it's because the Emily Bell is not old stock, but that came in when it was at the lower price. I think it's eight ninety nine now, isn't it? Then we've got the x ride backings. Beautiful. And then are the new ones here, or they'll be later on. No, no, as in he, uh, on the pictures. There they are. There they are. There's the pansies. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I think I launched those the other day. Uh, gorgeous. There's the panel. We'll talk about that at 12 o'clock. Then we've got Delphine's out there. So you get instructions and a panel for $24.99. Beautiful. Then we've got those are bits of fabric. There's bows all there for uh, the um, wall hanging. Uh, there's a pattern on its own, instructions on their own. There's only 9 99 there's loads of instructions there. Pom-poms, the pom-poms. Uh, then, uh, Karen, uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bag making, bag making. So Sue Patterson says, good morning. Susan says, good morning from a sunny Bogner Regis. Good morning, John, says Margaret. She just says, morning, John, Cat and team. So the others don't get mentioned, Cat. We've got Producer Cat tomorrow. Yeah, Producer Cat's in tomorrow. And then I've got Producer Laura in the next day. And then there's a bit of a quandary about the week, uh, about Saturday, because I've been told it was Kerry, but on the master schedule it says it's Hannah. So I'll find out later. I'll find out later. Anyway, there you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, bags, is all bags. Bags, bags, bags. Old bags, old bags, old bags, 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 old bags. Old bag, old bag. There's a lot of old bags in today, aren't there? There's Margello. There's Margello. You will not be paying £199 for it. You will not be paying £199 for that one. It's lovely, isn't it? But it's on five-way split pay. There we go. Look at that lovely backing there as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a bundle. I was going to say it's not that much half meter. It's a bundle. Bundle, that is. Uh, then quilt kits you will love and you'll be bored, maybe bored of seeing. <laughs> I love that one there. Now you see the Anna Maria? There's only one of those. There's only one of those. Uh, did the books get put in as well? Did they? I'll have a look then. Attic windows there from uh, Amber Makes. I was having a lovely chat with um, uh, Rebecca Reed last night. No, 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 no. We're talking about future projects, collaborations. There you go. There's the book. So two of the cave quilts, you do need the books before you can make them. And then extra wide backings for, for those quilts there. What a day. Then we go home and then I get in the hot tub. No, not hot tub, cold tub, cold tub, cold tub. What am talking about hot tub? Right, here we go. Here we go. This is the brand new Liberty fabric. Now, this is quilting weight fabric. Isn't it beautiful? It's got a lovely William Morris feel to it, hasn't it? So you, you're getting a half a metre for free because it's eight ninety nine dollars half a metre. You get one of those for free. There are 10 fabrics in there. So it means they are £8.09 for half a metre. It's the most affordable way of getting half a metre. 
Uh, good morning, John, everyone. A bit late, just been catching up on Steffi's show from yesterday. Oh, it was a lovely show yesterday. She was still, she'd had an operation two weeks before. I think she was still under the influence of the gas. She was so funny yesterday. She was hysterical. Poor woman, can't move her leg. Anyway, £80.91. pence. She did, she did some, fu- I don't know what it was, there's a fusion. She had to have pins put in her ankle or something like that. Sounds horrendous. Anyway, she was on crutches and a big boot on her foot and everything. So, look at the gorgeous colours. That, that, these are very Ollie colours, these, he said this morning in prep. Uh, can you see the pattern from there? It's a beautiful, beautiful, very William Morris-esque, but look at that. Good morning, cheerful John and team. Lovely shirt. Have a great day. <coughs> it's sunny in Lowest Off, says Laurie. Is it sunny here? Because it, it was just daybreaking as I drove in this morning. Oh, it's a bit grey here today. Oh, well. Aren't they lovely? So you're getting 10 fabrics, half a metre of each. I, I will be doing them all by the in, individually in a second as well, but they're 8 99 if you buy them individually. Beautiful. Very popular, this bundle. It's just the whole bundle's there, look. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different fabrics, you're only paying for nine. June says, how is the cold tub sitting going? I've only done it twice, June. I've only, I'll do it again when I go home today. The York Collection Liberty Fabrics presents a dense foliage. I love the way you've done pattern around the edge of that and everything. Yeah. Oh, they, that's, that's better, Ollie, thank you. But uh, he's supposed to put the pictures of the fabric round it and things like that. Uh, I can't read that, though. Can I have the big telly, please, Cat? Oh, there you go, that's how I can have that one down. The York Fern Collection of Liberty pre- presents a dense foliage pattern which flows rhythmically across the fabric. A simplified yet striking print, coloured in refined hues and tones that have been inspired by the world of paint and interiors. Uh, they mean Farrow and Ball when they say that thing. The result is an elegant, subtle, tone-on-tone design available in a sophisticated palette that's guaranteed to add an understated beauty to your crafting projects. Designed as a blender, I said that, didn't I? York Fern sits alongside of their fast archive of Liberty Prints. Traditionally screen printed on Lazenby Cotton, and we all know where it's screen printed on the lakes of the... Como, Shores of Lake Como, uh, a soft base developed by Liberty Fabric, especially for quilting and craft projects. And you are loving them. You are loving these. Their colours are beautiful, aren't they? I don't know which one's my, f- I, you know, I'm not allowed favourites, but anyway. I think it might be that one there. I think it might be that one there. That one. That one. Oh, no, I quite like that greeny one there. They've got some funny, is it? No, 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 it's not these have got funny names. Later on, I've got Caterpillar and really strange names that I hadn't seen before. Anyway, buy this, buy this, because it's the most affordable way. They're already cut, so if you buy two, you'll get two half-metre pieces of each one. But you know what I mean? You get half a metre of everything, and you're getting one of them for free in this bundle. Beautiful. Oh, what's Trisha saying? Morning, John. Just having our cuppa in the morning sunshine. Have a lovely day. Oh, have you got any, have you got any um, Airbnb is staying? Oh, no, no, it's not called Airbnb. Is it's called a chambre d'hote, isn't it? Isn't it called chambre d'hote in France? Bed and breakfast, like a bed and breakfast. Yeah, because Sandy chocolate chip cookie stayed. No, 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 no. Beautiful. You're saving £8.99. It's 100% quilting cotton. And how many did I start with? Beautiful. Saving £8.99. Remember, Liberty Fabric Quilty Fab is now £8.99 for half a metre. Beautiful. Shall I do them individually so you can see them all? And then I'll come back to the bundle. <laughs> right, OK. So, oh, this is a lovely colour. Now, you should have checked them earlier. Uh, you, if you've been doing this for two... No, it's not purple. If you've been doing this for two years now, you need to know these. MJYV58. There's a lovely putty pink, this one. Eight ninety nine for half a metre. Now, this is where you can buy it off the bolt. So if you want more than half a metre, you can get more than half a metre. Lovely, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Uh, as I say, they did design it as a blender. doesn't need to be a blender, does it? 
Very popular, this one. Beautiful. It's lovely. I love the print. You can't see it that good on your telly. So. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. But in real life, it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. That gorgeous pink. I imagine this is going to appear in a project one day soon. I reckon the schedulers upstairs will have picked, or Susie Duncan will have been and going to want that in my, in my um, project. Beautiful. Now I'm moving on to, I think this one might be a purple one. 37. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So you got a favourite, Ollie? Oh, OK, when we get to the blues, we'll see which one he likes best and we get to the middle blues. Uh, this one's in wisteria purple, this one. Oh, my wisteria's just coming out into bud at the moment. It is a very good description, that one. Cousin Susan says, good morning, John. Good morning, Cousin Susan. Well, she's about... They, what my sh reflexes there were so quick. 8 99 I'm right thirsty this morning. Eight ninety-nine. You're loving this one. You're loving this one. This is beautiful. I'd call it a mauve as well. Or wisteria purple is a very good description, actually. But a mauve purple would be nice. Beautiful. Right, moving on. Now I've got like a charcoal -y colour. Yeah, this will be graphite, yeah. Oh, oh, that, oh, you see, as you open them, you kind of go, oh, now, that's gorgeous. Oh, Mari's just woken up, everyone. Morning, Mari, in Islington. That's stunning, isn't it? I'm seeing that in a, like, a wrap dress. Or in a Sussex seamstress dress, something like that. Beautiful. I think my barber must be on holiday because I went to make an appointment and I can't get an appointment for two weeks. We do it on the app. You, you do your appointment on the app and he's just, there's none. Uh, it can't be that he's fully booked for two weeks. Well, it could be, but. Anyway, 8 99 that's gorgeous. Well, that's why you have to book ahead, you see. So I normally book well in advance, but I forgot. Favourite time. Oh, this is a dark green, ending 53. Angela says, good morning. Good morning, Angela. Uh, pine, this one. Pine green, that one. Must be the leaves, is it? Morning, John. Cheering me up after I've hurt my back, moving a sofa. sofa. Well, Viv, if you will move a sofa on your own, what do you expect? You should have done like Leanne and got them on Italian coasters. Well, you know, on the bottom of the new Gemini machine, because Leanne, who's on your stay, is the global head of development for uh, crafters. And no, 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 she got a new sofa and she was like, oh, that's heavy. I won't be to move it. And they went, no, if you have these Italian, it was an Italian leather sofa. If you have these unusual casters on the bottom. So she took one off, sent it to the developers of the Gemini machine. She said, I want these on the bottom. Then they put it back on her sofa. Yeah. Good morning, Pam Minihani. Oh, it's sunny in Islington, says Mari. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That colour. I wouldn't have called it pine. But it is beautiful. Right, now I'm moving on. Now, this is lovely as well. Oh, wait, like a soft green. Oh, apple. Yeah, good. Good colour. Apple. Hello. Oh, Pauline, you're up early this morning. Beautiful. No, not in real life. It's like an O'Donnell, I'd call that. Eight ninety nine. Oh, where was that box? Was you say it was on the set? That box that we watched being made earlier. Oh, 
yes. I saw it. We, when we were in prep earlier, we saw this being made from yesterday, right, from Hobby Maker, but we couldn't figure out what you did with it. Oh, it's an award. Oh, well, I'm going to keep that there. Oh, look at the stars all shot. Oh! What's the lady and the lady that made that? Uh, Anne-Marie. Anne made that. Anne-Marie made that. Anyway, because when we're in the gallery doing the prep, you see, you there's no sound on, so you can't see what she, hear what she's saying. You can only see. Now, look, this is, um, this is like a parchment colour now. Oh, linen. Yeah, that's a good one, linen. I can't have got a label on this one, though. 62. Uh, 8 99 this one. That is lovely. Now, if you're doing the background of a quilt and you, it says use cream or something, can you imagine that? It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Or if you're doing half of a half square triangle with a patterned one, he says... Uh, good morning, John. Feeling tired today. I was at the footy last night, so tired and horsey. And after working now, I need caffeine. Oh, Michelle, which football were we at last night then? Who was playing? Was it Arsenal? Oh, was it? That means Karen will have been there as well. Who were Arsenal playing then? Oh, Bayern Munich. Uh, only a quick drop in this morning, I'm afraid. I'm off to that there, London, for the day. Oh, you get around. She was in Liverpool last week, London this week. I'm going to... Are you going to London tomorrow? What are you doing there? Oh, because you're going off the Eurostore to Amsterdam. Oh, very nice. I'm in Oxford on Tuesday. Beautiful. See, Roy never comes in to see us anymore, does he? Oh, has he got an extra job to do now? Oh, now, who is the manager of the Nighttime Gems Direct? Yeah. Uh, look at these now. Which is your favourite, Ollie, do you say? That one. That's, I'll do that one next then. That's Ollie's favourite. This is, uh, yep, hydrangea. Now, you see, I bought a white hydrangea, a blue hydrangea, and a pink hydrangea. They all turned pink now because of my soil, because I haven't got ericaceous soil. And they changed to match the, the, the thing of your soil. Oh, your cats is the same. You have to, you have to get ericaceous soil from the garden centre and put it round the plant if you want to keep it blue and white. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Hydrangea blue. Who's Adele? Don't know her. Oh, Messi on bottom. Yes, was at the Arsenal via Bayern Munich game. There you go. Isn't that funny? I just guessed I was the only London team I know, I think. Oh, no, Millwall, they're London, aren't they? Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, yeah, now you're reeling them all off now. Beautiful. They're not all football teams, are they? That's Scotland, that one. Oh, Susan Briscoe, you need to keep your hydrangea in pots to keep the colour. I know that now, because the one Laurie bought me is in a pot, and it's beautiful, it's kept its colour, but the others in the garden haven't. Uh, just feeding them ericaceous feed isn't enough. It's no. That's what they told me in the garden centre. 15, this one is. Yep. Yeah. Twilight. Eight, nine, nine. What, the, the stuff you put in your vase of cut flowers? We can't talk about that here because Emma Bradford, who's one of our guests, she develops that for the food she makes. The stuff that's in the sachet, she makes that. 
And if it wasn't working for Marky, what you have to do it with the amount of water it says. No point just filling a vase and tipping it in. You have to do it proportionally. So whatever it says on the sachet, if it says a litre, it has to be a litre of water. If it's half a litre, it has to be half a litre of water. Yeah, yeah, you cut the stems at an angle, yeah. And you should cut them underwater. Yeah, uh, Delia says, morning, John and team. We've no Wi-Fi this morning, so can't stay long. Oh, that's right. All the blue and cream, your furs look lovely together. Exactly, exactly, Susan Briscoe. In fact, these are the colour of Susan Briscoe's hair, depending on what time of the month it is, isn't it? Because she has it dyed dark blue, and then she washes it to get paler. Then we've got now, what colour are they called? This one, then. Um, this is Misty, yeah. Um, number 71. Play Misty for me. Beautiful. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. And then last but not least is duck egg. Like the ducks in my kitchen. Well, they weren't eggs. They were ducklings, weren't they? The cats were there. And then my cats are completely crazy because uh, Luther ran away and Ghost was like, oh, they look interesting. Could they be my friend? But they didn't go for them at all. No. No, I thought as soon as they, the cat, as soon as I saw the ducklings and the cats in the kitchen, I thought, oh, no, bloodbath. But no, not at all. The thing is, my two cats don't bring in mice. They don't bring in birds. They don't bring in anything at all. Well, no, except when the little rat ran across the lounge floor, they both just sat and looked at it. They watched it run past like that. I live in the countryside, so it's obviously going to be things like that. Beautiful. Right, let's look at the bundle again one more time. Beautiful. A third of the stock has gone already. I love these colours. Let me turn that one over. Hayley hates it when you see the raw edges, doesn't she? There you go. Beautiful, look. £80.91 is the most affordable way of getting it. You get one of those for free. £80.91. Uh, now, uh, Laurie says, I'm glad your hydrangea's doing well. Laurie, it's gorgeous. It's just... So every winter, I think, oh, it's died. Because, you know, all the leaves drop off and it's just like six twigs sticking out of a pot, right? And then I, I was put the garden furniture out last week. In fact, I was in my cold tub last week. Or was it this week? What day of the week is it? Oh, no, it was the end of last week. Uh, and I've noticed it's just all started... Um, the leaves have all started blossoming again. Eight, oh, and eight. Now, I've always had issues with aces because they can't have any wind near them, can they, aces? Beautiful. £80.91. pence. Right. I'll come back to that in a secondo because I've got to... Emily Bell Bundle is this one here. Now, these are all the blue, so Ollie's going to like this. Now, Kat's put them in this order. She'll be really annoyed now because I've just taken them out of the order. As they've moved, I'll just have to move over here a bit. There we go. Gorgeous. So these are Emily Bell. Now, I wonder why he's saving £4 on that one. I'm not quite sure what the £4 is off that one. Uh, 46 94 So what colours have I got here, then? Blue sky, evening sky, marine blue, mauve, sapphire. Oh, sapphire and ultramarine. There you go. 46 94 They're lovely, aren't they? Quilting weight again, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. Screen printed in a factory on the shores of Lake Como in Italy. Ooh, Su I think Susan Briscoe's had a chatty pill this morning. She's no stopping her. The Emily Bell would look lovely with the York fern. It would indeed. 46.94. Beautiful. Go 
gorgeous. Wiltshire Shadow Bundle now. Did you say bundle, yeah? Yeah, Wiltshire Shadow Bundle. There's that green again that I like so much. I must be going through a phase of um, wanting something if I'm craving green. Uh, 46.94, saving four pounds again. Wiltshire Shadow, this one. We love a Wiltshire Shadow. Beautiful. Now, I don't know if they've done the same on... Uh, normally, when these are photographed, if you look at them on the website, some have great big berries and some have tiny... Oh, no, they've done them all the same this time. They're all the same, because sometimes uh, Hannah will go, oh, this one's much bigger. Go, no, they're all the same. These are all the same. Loads in baskets. 46.94. Beautiful. Saving four pounds there. Check out your baskets. Lots in baskets. Oh, all these. Oh, OK, then. So I've got these by the half metre as well. Oh, no, that's fine, then. I thought you meant do those by the half metre. Right, so let's do Wiltshire Shadow by the half metre. Here are all the colours we have. Now, some of these got funny names, like there's a caterpillar in there. Right, I think this, there you go. I think this one's Conker, 37. It's what? Chestnut. Isn't it the same thing? Horse, chestnut, conquer, exactly the same thing. Yeah, like when I lived in New York, the smell in the winter was the roasting chestnuts on the street, which was gorgeous. And I used to go to a, a restaurant in um, Baltimore in Ireland, not far from Skibbereen, and they did this amazing, like, um, puff pastry, vegetable puff pastry with water chestnuts in. It was delicious. Oh, I lived in New York for a year. I know, loved it, loved it, my spiritual home. £8.49, remember? Now I've got a bright green one. Apple. This is uh, Granny Smith's. Oh, I don't know what a Washington apple is. They don't sell those in Tesco's, I don't think. Oh, uh -huh. Beautiful. That doesn't, uh, people have got this issue that a waitress is more expensive. They're no more expensive than any other supermarket. I promise you. They sell things like quail's eggs that you wouldn't maybe get in Tesco's or whatever, but or ostrich eggs for a big omelet and things. Uh, right now, you'll have to guess what this one is. Sixteen. Well, you, you shouldn't buy already made up food. 16, 16, yeah. Cust oh, this is custard. Oh, I thought the next one was custard. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. You see, I'd have called this one lemon. Yeah, and that one would be custard, but it's the other way around. Oh, no, vanilla custard every time. No, no, you put vanilla pods in it. Right, let's get on to sunshine then. Oh, is, no, is it sunshine? Is that what we said? Oh, lemon, sorry, yeah, lemon. You see, I, well, I suppose if you're in Greece and they're on the trees, then they do look that colour, don't they? I was arranging all my um, holidays yesterday. I was talking to Julie yesterday. And uh, we're going to San Diego and we're going to Spain and everything. And then she went, oh, should we slip in a week in Catalonia? And I love Kefalonia. The trouble is she wants to stay in the house that we all stay in, and it's so expensive. I haven't got as much money as she has. £8.49. Gorgeous. Now I've got bright, bright orange. Orange. Orange pit. Orange peel. It's 
fire, flame, bright satsuma. Beautiful. Then I've got a lovely dark red. Now I know what this is. Claret. Yeah, well done, Cap. Claret. 57. Cherry. Well, hang on. We had, when we went... Oh, no. We, Emily Bell's got claret. Emily Bell's got claret. Sorry, I le led you into that one. Sorry, Kat. <laughs> well, no, no. When we were prepping this morning, Kat and I were going through all the colours. And she went, why is claret? Oh, it's red and pointed. But it Stop trying to be butch, Ben. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> Ben's talking about football. He's talking about their outfits they wear, obviously. But, you know. Right, pink. This one's pink. Well, I'll tell you which pink it is. Uh, well, you only got three. Uh, 72, this one. Rhubarb. I used to eat rhubarb so much. My great-granddad lived till he was 105. He had a handlebar moustache and a wooden leg. And he, he swore, oh, he swore, he's not alive now. He swore this because he had a bowl of rhubarb every day of his life. I don't think he had it every day, but he used to... Well, it used to be in the bottom of my nan's garden. And we'd either have rhubarb crumble, rhubarb pie, and then sometimes she'd just give us a pot of sugar and we'd go down to the garden, we'd just snap it like that and eat it like that. But you're not supposed to do that, are you? Isn't it poisonous? Aren't the leaves poisonous or something? No, it was at the end of her garden. Huge, huge leaves. Massive, massive leaves. I think it's mushrooms you grow in the dark. There was a mushroom in the middle of my lawn yesterday, like this big. It's huge. I think Danny took it home for his tea. Then I've got a really luminescent pink. Candy pink. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Very different, because they, they, when they move away from the traditional colours, it begins to look very different, doesn't it? Love this one. Beautiful pink, this one. Rose pink, this one. Oh, it's rhododendron. Rhododendron. You see, that's, that's a bit misleading, because rhododendrons can be all sorts of colours. They're not just pink, are they? Message on the bottom. Yes, the, there you go, the leaves are poisonous. And my nan used to send us down the garden, and we used to pick it, dip it and eat it. And then we'd use the leaves as, like, hats. Well, they were that big. No, they were huge. The leaves were, like, this big. Great big things at the bottom of the garden. That's when there was a glue factory at the end of Manan's garden. And when the glue factory, every three o'clock every afternoon, they used to do the boiling up. And everyone would shut their windows and everything. I'd go out and go, and I, because I love the smell. Weird, weird. And I blame my mother, because when she was pregnant with me, we lived in the countryside, and her treat every day was to walk for a mile to the local shop that sold everything and sniff the paraffins. When she was pregnant with me, I can't go past a new, newly tarmacked road without stopping. <laughs> right. The smell's lovely. Old creosote in a fence, 42. Well, it was only me on my own, but yeah. And then the people next door had the biggest aviary with hundreds of budges and canaries in outside. And he said, just sit and just look at the colours of these budges flying around. And when Mike, the, the policeman who lived there, he said, oh, do you want to come in? And he'd let you sit inside the cage, all these budges all flittering around. I loved it. Anyway. Yes. And then they also had, um, the gardens were huge where my nan lived. And the people next door also had um, beehives at the end of the garden. And one day, no, one day my nan walked down the garden like she normally did and all the bees attacked her. She had to go to hospital. She was stung, stung, stung. Yeah. Yeah, this was Chester. Was, yeah, then they, then they knocked down the glue factory and built a housing estate. But her garden was still over 200 foot long. It was massive, her garden. Um, cream. This is cream. Last of the Wiltshire Shadows. Beautiful. Now I've got to reach over and get the Emily Bells, I'm afraid. You can have those, Kat. <laughs> if you're one of my neighbours, you'll be used to that noise when I'm working out the garden. I'm like, and I throw the weights down. 
And, and I'm the only person that does my, my personal training on a two and a half thousand pound rug in the garden, in the garage. Back when I had money, I bought this rug and then it'd been fine until Ghost and Luther moved in and they wrecked it. So I just rolled it up, put it in the garage, thinking I'll send it off to it. And then when I started my personal training, I put it down on the floor. Anyway, uh, grey first, pale grey, 41. Clay? You see, I wouldn't call that clay, would you? Concrete, maybe. Uh, clay, that colour. Oh, you mean like potter's clay? I'm thinking of clay when you dig your garden. Hey, but, oh, I don't. I just watched Danny do it. Uh, there's a rhubarb triangle between Wakefield, Morley and Rothwell, famous for early rhubarb. Oh, that's grown in the dark, Ollie. Oh, no, because my nan's was just wild at the end of her garden. She didn't have to do anything with it. Uh, the thing is, I haven't had rhubarb for so long. I've forgotten if I love it or not. 58, green. Caterpillar! Caterpillar! Do you remember when you were little and you used to get the caterpillars off the nasturtium leaves and let them, let them crawl all over you? No, just me then. Oh, no, no, you don't want them there. They just love nasturtium leaves, don't they? £8.49. Hang on, when you left your house, was it light? Was it like when you left your house? Oh, OK. You leave at quarter past five and it was light. How weird, because it was pitch dark when I left. It was only when I got to Studley that the light started breaking through. So I'd been going like 15 minutes before the light broke through. But Oh, OK, where I live, there's no street lamps. It's just pitch dark, you see. This is Magnolia. I wouldn't call that Magnolia, to be honest. Now, I must ask Fix, because I bought her and Kieran a magnolia when they moved into their house. I'm wondering if they plant it or if it died. Oh, when you do, it, when you do um, rhubarb in the dark, it's called forcing the rhubarb. Oh, no, but they do that with hydrangeas, don't they? When you go to the garden centre and they've got hydrangeas in really early, everyone says, don't buy them, because they've been forced. They won't, you know. How funny. Now I've got kind of like... Mm, Sure, how I describe this colour 35. Golden ochre. It's not what I would have called it. Well, I don't think it's that either, is it? I'll ask Bruce, get Bruce in and we can find out. They force grow rhubarb in the dark sheds and harvest it by candlelight. They can hear the rhubarb as it growing. They have a colour stick to tell if it's ripe or not. Well, I never. Margaret lives near there then. Do, do, hang on. Yeah, well, she lives near there. Mm. Right, then I've got, I'd call this raspberry. That's not paprika's orange. That's not paprika. It's uh, fit 97, yeah? Well, yeah, because it it's the only one it can be, because none of the others are paprika. Beautiful. Now, hat cat. Carrot. Claret. No, claret. <laughs> Jenny Jackson's watching, everyone. I don't know. I don't know how she gets time to work. The amount of time she's watching us on the telly. Oh, babe. Put a bit of leopard on. Uh, £8.49. Claret, this one. Dark red to you and me. Beautiful. Then we've got purple. Oh, that's a lovely purple, that one. Crocus, yeah. That's, one, that's the one that uh, Ollie got confused about this morning. Don't you remember in prep this morning? It was Ollie. He was the only one who guessed it. Oh, yeah, he was the only one who guessed it. I don't remember that. Beautiful. Then we've got this lovely soft bluey one, bluey green. Mermaid. How do they know? 
Oh, Jenny Jack said, you're my background noise as I work. Oh, that's nice. I'm like white noise. Mermaids. Now, you see, everyone makes out that mermaids were lovely, but what they're doing, they're enticing the sailors onto the rocks, aren't they? Pardon? Right, yo. Yeah, new bundle. <clears throat> this is brand new today. This is your York Fern. Single figures, once you've all checked out. Now, we had an awful lot of these, because I said, normally, uh, we have a limited amount of the bundle. And I said to Ben earlier, how many of these have we got? And he told me, and I was like, oh, that's an awful lot. But actually, we're down to single figures. My bad. I love this one. God, they're, they're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous guys. They've obviously only picked the blues and the greys. They must obviously do it. Now, we'll obviously get, in about a month's time, we'll get the pastels, and then we'll get the brights, and then we'll get the autumn, you know, all that. Beautiful. £80.91. pence. Beautiful. What's your favourite colour? What colour have you got a favourite colour? That one. Yeah. Got it wrong? It's that one. Beautiful. Keep checking out on that one, though. Keep checking out. 100% cotton, quilting weight, lasered be cotton, created by Liberty as a soft, lovely... I have to tell you, it is a beautiful, beautiful batch, that. It's really, really nice. Now, I've got extra wide backings. Now, these... I th I've only had these ones. I think I launched these the other day. Pansy Garden, this one, or Pansy something. Which one? Green one first. What I love about this is they've made the print much bigger than the actual, because we've had this print before. There you go. Sorry, wrong graphic there. This one is your Pansy Meadow. In green, it's 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Look at this. Can you imagine this in a dress? Can you imagine this in a shirt? Uh, no, they, they do do a wallpaper like this. Yeah, they do do that in a wallpaper. I think it is. I think this one is the 1920s one. Oh, no, that'd be more nouveau than deco, wouldn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's been around. It's one of Liberty's traditionals, but they've made it much bigger and obviously much brighter in this one. Now, it's really interesting because I launched these the other day. I thought this would be the most popular, right? I thought that this... They were all popular, but I thought this would be by far the most popular. Right, so then I've got the grey one with the pink flowers. Morning, John. I'm sitting in the doctor's, but I'll be doing my ears. Hang on. Hang on. Morning, John. I'm sitting in the doctor's, but I'll be doing my ears on my Labrador on doing. Don't know what that means, Sam. I'll be doing the ears on my Labrador. So it must be a patchwork or a, a, an applique or something, is it? But then it says on doing. Anyway, 17, 99, half meters, 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Beautiful. Loads in baskets. This and this were the two most popular on the, when I launched them the other day. Beautiful. Then we've got the blues. Okay, Ollie's going to wear this in the evening, apparently. Loads in baskets. <clears throat> Ben's choking, everyone. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Seventeen ninety-nine per half metre. Imagine if you made a duvet. Uh, in fact, I was looking at new duvet covers yesterday. Not Liberty ones, just regular, like, William Morrissey ones and everything. You could make a beautiful duvet cover out of this, couldn't you? You've got your own poppers or your own buttons and buttonholes at the bottom. 
17.99. Here you go. I'm sitting in the doctor's now, but when I leave, I'll be doing the ears on the Labrador art doll. What was that? Was that a project? I don't know what that is. Labrador art doll. Art. Art doll. Labrador art doll. Oh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, moving on. Got other ones. Vine ones. Again, beautiful. Look, there's your three different colours. This. It's gorgeous, isn't it, this one? In fact, the other day, we had this on when Rebecca Harrison was in doing dressmaking. I had to do a lot of working out how much of the XY backing you needed for a certain size of the dress. So a lot of people will be wearing these six fabrics as dresses soon. $17.99. Remember, first day of festival quilts, I'll be there at the launch on the Thursday. And then I'll also be appearing on the Amber Make stall on one of the other days. But I don't, we haven't sorted out which day that's going to be yet. Beautiful. It's actually green. Blue. This is Ollie's favourite. Trailing Blossom. Seventeen ninety nine. I don't think you'd wear that, Ollie. Though, would you? No. This is what Ollie would wear. Oh, hang on. You've seen my dolls. I did the Boston Terry in the. Oh, Sam. I thought you'd meant you'd bought it from us. Sorry, I got very. Sam, of the thirty seven thousand people follow me. I can't remember everything, but sorry. I'm broken hearted, you don't remember. Oh dear. Beautiful. Right, break time. Oh no, no, no. Let's just really, before we go, let's, let's just do this bundle. Let's, let's see if we sold out the bundle yet. Ahem. <clears throat> Why? Uh, look, saving £8.99, you're getting half a metre for free. Beautiful. Right, we're going for a break now. Delphine's here after the break. We've got brand new panels. Brand new panels, brand new instructions from Delphine. We will see you in four minutes from now. <laughs> Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, 
Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p, &P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Delphine's here. Delphine, say hello, Delphine. Hello, Delphine. Hello, Delphine. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> right, new pattern, new project from Delphine. You know how quickly these always sell. So, oh, okay, I've got to talk for 25 seconds, otherwise they're going to the wrong hour because we come back a bit early. Oh, I finished a bit early, that was all. Uh, these are the patchwork projects. Step-by-step -step guide on how to create cushions, tote bags and simple sewing storage using a patchwork panel designed by Delphine Brooks, confident beginner. So what's in here is uh, instructions of how to make a sewing room wall tidy, a patchwork tote bag, a coaster, but all sorts, it gives you inspiration to do all sorts of things. So... Oh, no, I've got the bright one out first, right? I'm doing the bright. This is like a sensor. This will be, what do they say? This will tickle your taste buds. No, a something sensation. What are the words I'm looking for, Delphine? Oh, I don't know. You're older. You're nearly as old as me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, 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 look. How is upside down? How gorgeous is this? Look at the colours in here. So tell me what it is. I'm going to put it down on the desk. Tell me what you've done here, Delphine, then. So, I wanted it to be a bit like a sampler cushion. Yeah. So, obviously, they're all different quilt blocks, but you can use them in many different ways. So, again, in the instructions, you can make them into cushions, tote bags. So, it's, it's something, it's one of those projects that you can use to do lots of different things. Lots of different things. So, you've got that big square, first of all. I see an essence of bumbleberry here. It's a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> then, we've got another big square here. And then, again, you Are can... they the same? No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right, I'm telling you now. They're smaller squares with a border. These are bigger squares. You can either use as they are or cut them up. And then these here are baby squares. And then across the bottom, you've got two strips of the orange. So for $24.99, you're getting the pattern and you get the panel. Loads in baskets. This is the bright one. This is the bright one. And we made this out. Oh. 
<laughs> We've made this cushion out of the bright one. Your face then is a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that that pom pom fell off. It's because I'm going to we're going to show you how to make a pom pom later. That's why that one wasn't sewn on properly. Hang on. That's a, there we go. There we go. <laughs> There we go, made a lovely cushion out of it. <laughs> well, now I'm just thinking, you see, what you could do is buy some pom-pom and do the whole pom-pom round the outside. Rather than just the foot. Can I open this cat and open? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to ask, I'm just supposed to do. But then when I do, I get shouted at. <laughs> Thing is, when you do... Oh. You know... <laughs> There is an end here somewhere. There you go, there you go, there you go. Imagine that, look! You see, we didn't send Delphine the pom-poms. I think if we sent Delphine the pom-poms, she would have done that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that would look really nice. Yeah. And then they won't fall off. Anyway, so $24.99 is the panel and the instructions. That's the brights. Beautiful. You use it as you want to use it. Do whatever you want to. Just use it as pieces of fabric. Do whatever you want to. You don't have to do what's in the instructions, but the instructions are like inspirational. And you've got instructions for other things. Then here are the uh, other ones. This is the traditional colourway, which is in the lead. Oh, only by one now, though. But here you go. So there's your colours. It's exactly the same panel but just in more traditional colours. I'll drop it down onto the table for you. So there's your mini ones. There's your bigger ones. And there's your ones with a border. Different. Oh, completely different border because the other one was spotty, wasn't it? This is little sprigs of florals. Now, if you look on the wall behind Delphine, she's used these two colourways to do a big cushion and to do a wall sewing organiser. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, those two things, yeah. Beautiful. Now, are the instructions for that organiser in here as well? Yep. Oh, didn't see that. Beautiful. Now, which one are you going for? Traditional or bright or both? Gorgeous, aren't they? So you get the panel and the instructions. So Delphine's made her... Oh, no, she made her samples. Because I've got a tote bag over here with the brights. We've got the cushion and the wall hanging in the um, traditional. And then I've got the little cushion in the brights there. They're the bright, uh, so they're the traditionals. And these are the brights. There you go. Perfect. Thanks, Ollie. Now, we've got the pattern on its own. Let me take you through the pattern on its own. It's called Patchwork Projects. These are Delphine's stairs. Going up in the house, she's had that panelling done there and in a lounge and in the snug. Yeah. And somewhere else, I've seen it somewhere else, haven't I? No, no, no. not it. Well, I suppose there's a bit in the bedroom. Oh, I've not been in the bedroom, have I? So I wouldn't you know. have been in my bedroom. You've had to look around the house, haven't you? I've not <laughs> been upstairs. Have you not? No, ne well, no I've oh, never been upstairs. Well, next time. All right, then. Last time I came round, you were still in bed, hung over. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I couldn't come into the bedroom then. You wouldn't want to come up there. No, I'll tell you, it was bad enough downstairs. Broken glass all over the kitchen floor. <laughs> husband sweeping up in his pyjamas. I said, I said... Are you not expecting? I well, knocked on the back door because at Delphine's house, you don't go the front door. You go through the back, through the garden because the drive's there. You go through the garden. So I just tapped on the back door. I could see Nick in the kitchen. And I tapped on the door and he opened the door. And he went, I said, are you not expecting me? And I went, he went, no. And I said, I arranged with Delphine that I'd be here at yeah. 9 o'clock this morning. He went, oh, come in. Mind the glass on the floor. And I was like, oh, OK. And they, they what does he call you? Did he call you Delphine? He calls me Fiend. Fiend, that's it. Fiend! Fiend, get up! <laughs> and she wants to... Uh, blue, blue, blue. John Scott's in the kitchen. She was like, what? What? So anyway, so then he came bad. back downstairs. He said they came in from drinking. They went out last night. The, it was just friends, wasn't it? It was just, it was just all our, it was just all the girlfriends. Yeah. So yeah. they'd been drinking. Then they got back to us and had shots. One of them had broken glass all over the kitchen table. Delphine had gone to bed. I think got undressed. She got her makeup on, her clothes on, and everything. And he went, "I'm very sorry, John." And she came down the stairs. Like this. She drank two pints of orange squash in one neck in. I did. I was. Very and then she, said, I can't talk to you. I've had my coffee. <laughs> right. So this is why I haven't been in the bedroom. <laughs> right. Anyway, look. This we haven't done this. Sorry. Sorry. Patting on its own. Pattern on its own. Right, so, 
Please read the instructions carefully before you begin. Square patchwork cushion. Sewing room wall tidy. Uh, patchwork tote bag. Beautiful. Coasters. Beautiful. $9.99. So it's quite, kind of inspirational. And now, 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 now. You haven't written them saying, cut out this from the panel, have you? No, I've done it so um, even if you had like your own scraps to do, for example, the cushion, I've yep. even put the measurements of the squares. And brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Because also the time when we have panels, <coughs> it just says cut out the panels and that, that's it. No. I've so you don't need the panels to do this. Obviously, there's not the patterns for the, each block isn't in there. It's just to cut how big you need the pieces of fabric to make the things with. Where's the picture of the wall tied you then? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Beautiful. Now, uh, which one's most popular? I'm not going to... Brights is now in the lead. I thought it would be Brights in the lead. Oh, only by one. Only by one. Right, shall we... I won't do anything else. Shall we do a demo? And then as you use things, I'll yeah. shout out how much they cost. Yeah. What would you like? Do you want something? Well, we'll do the cushion first. So... <laughs> Obviously, you need your big ruler. I'll be using this a lot. I know, it was on the pole sheet for that. That was on the pole sheet. Yeah. So what you'll do, you'll cut out, for, the, for example, the cushion uh, front. This could, I've also used this for the bag. But that's why we've all, already added the border on there for you. So, But what I thought would look really nice is to make it look like you've actually pieced it all and quilted it. So I've just laid this onto a piece of uh, wadding. Make sure you always cut your wadding slightly bigger than your... Uh, the square just so it allows for a little bit of wriggle room and then starting from the center all you're going to do is you stitch you stitch in the ditch so i'm just going to extend it to uh, lengthen my stitch to a three but what you want to make sure is that it, you keep it flat throughout and it's going to make it look like you've spent all that time piecing it go around down the other side this keeps getting oh there we go you've gone quiet because he's talking to me <laughs> what are you doing tell me what you're doing i'm stitching the ditch in stitching in the ditch yeah there's no ditch to stitch in well that's why we've faking it what color are those nails they're still the ones i had last time i haven't seen you for ages you have those last time I saw you? Yeah, I need them doing, but I've not been... I was away last week. Oh, on the caravan? I was away the boys. in the van, yeah, with the dog. Where did you go? Uh, Shropshire Hills. Oh. Yeah, and climbed up hills, that's why I've hurt myself. Oh, yeah, she's uh, pulled a muscle in her <laughs> lower back. <laughs> really hurts. You can say, have you stretched it? I have, but... Nothing's working. I've got, um, I, I've got a dodgy knee at the moment, and um, I was advised to put this cream on it. I was using, like, the ones you buy in the supermarket, you know, like, um, I can't remember what they're called now. Ibupro I, not ibuprofen, but those different creams. Anyway, someone said to me, oh, you should try this one. Uh, and it's got all essential things from the sea, right, including lip, lip, limpets. Anyway, I put it on last night. It's the weirdest sensation on your knee, right? But when I woke up this morning, I had no pain whatsoever. Really? Is it hot or cold? A uh, cold? Yeah, I've got some cold stuff. Like just, it yeah. just, just looked like a white cream. Just massage it into, I massage it into my knee. It's one of those that, um, you know, when you eat a sweet, it goes, like, yeah. and you breathe yeah. in and it goes cold. So my knee was freezing cold in the bed, poor thing. But it was, it was, I don't, it's, a, it's green limpets or green lipids or something like that has got in it. And it's fixed you. Yeah. Well, it hasn't fixed it, because it's hurting again now. But it's the night. Just do one so more. what wadding did you use there? Uh, 80 20. 80 20. I've got that coming up in a minute. So I'll just, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on the camera, but 
So what I've done is I've stitched in the dip, in the pretend ditch. Right. And it gives it that look that you've actually pieced it and quilted it. Lovely. So you do that for your cushion top and then you put your envelope back or you zip back on. I've even put all the instructions of how to actually do that as well. Brilliant. So that's how you do your cushion, but that's the, uh, the Bright's cushion front. Sorry, I'm sorry, oh. Ben's telling me. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ben. I was miles away then, right? So to do, then we're going to go into the wall tidy. So what you're going to need is um, I've used a one-sided bosel. Got that? Got one one-sided bosel. Green-lipped mussel. That is what it is. Green-lipped mussel says Roxana. My mother used it. and She swore by it. it's brilliant stuff. It is. I've only used it once, but anyway. So, so the bosel is there, thirteen ninety nine. One sided, single sided. You're getting half a metre for thirteen ninety nine. Oh, Haley's on the phone, so I've just put me on mute for the moment. Oh. As well. um, what Haley wants us to tell you as well is what good value these are, because the panels. If we haven't got the panels on their own, but if we did have them on their own, they'd be nineteen ninety nine. So you're actually getting the instructions, which you pay nine ninety nine for. If you buy them in bundle, you're only paying five pounds for them. There we go. So just put up, uh, so you can choose, do whatever, any colour you like. Yeah. And you cut that, cut your bows off first. And I've got that peach fabric coming up in a minute as well. Is it peach? Did we decide it was peach? Yeah. And then yeah, I'll send you trim off any excess fabric. Okay. You doing what, Oh. Why have you done that? So Ollie's emailed a picture of his cat to Hayley. Oh, I thought you said you'd message it to Hayley. Ruler coming back in. Oh. What? Wait, wait. Wait, there's this discussion going on. I'm eavesdropping in on. Oh, okay. So. No, no, it's alright. It's alright. Come, keep going. Yeah. So you want. So you're cutting out to exactly the same size as the bosel. Yeah, yeah. but you, it's best to do it this way rather than to have the fabric already the perfect size, only because it will shift. Yeah. And then you'll be peeling it off, and then it will lose its stick. Oh, I'm going in the scrap bin. Yeah. Just going to make sure that this is nice and hot. I like the irons hot. We got the Eliso iron as well in this hour. Oh, it's in the next hour, sorry, but we'll do it in this one. Yeah? I'm still eavesdropping. Oh, OK. It, anything you can share with us? Or no, no. <laughs> Not my place. 162.99, the Eliso Pro Plus. Uh, Pro Plus. I, I've never realised it's called a Pro Plus before. Pro Plus was when I was younger and you did all it's night. It's the of, caffeine it's stuff. Caffeine yeah. tablet, isn't it? Uh, split pay, 54.33. No interest charge whatsoever. I have terrible trouble with my knees, says Sue. I think it was you that said tomatoes are bad for arthritis. Yeah, it was me. Are they? Yeah, cut right down and they're much better. Tomatoes are really bad for arthritis. Really? Is that like tomatoes on their own or no, like base in sauces? In it, like in baked beans, in... Um, Spag bowl. In what? Spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, anything like that. Tomato ketchup. Morning, everyone at Sun Street. I think I'll make a block keeper with my panel. Love, Kate in Sunny Guernsey. How are you, Kate, my love? Have you seen my dentist recently? So then to make the pockets from the panel, I've cut three of the... Um, a set of three... Of oh, the yeah, squares, from the panel, yeah. Or you'll choose your own um, squares to use. And they're like all traditional blocks, aren't they? Yeah. You can find anywhere. Yeah, really, really lovely. You can if you wanted to, if you've got the patience to actually stitch around each one and quilt it. I think that would look nice, but you have yeah. to be very, very careful so yeah. So hang on, so you've got a panel of three yep. things. A, a piece, piece of, of the... solid. Oh, uh, from the panel, is that from the uh, panel? No, this is just uh, what you can have in your stash. Oh, okay, right, okay. And a piece of wadding. Right. So these are making the pockets, are they? Yep, yeah, so these are going to make my pockets. So I'm just going to put on my quarter-inch foot now. Okay, now. 
Um, I hate to throw you under the bus, Ben. Ben's made a mistake. Right. Uh, so bring in the graphics, please, for the brights. Right. Now, I said to you, the panel is 19.99 and the instructions are 9.99. That makes it 28.99. Came in at 24.99. But Ben was meant to do this. This is the instruction from Haley. He didn't read his notes. 19.99. Now, if you've already checked out, you'll still pay 19.99. 19, now, 1999 is the panel plus the instructions. The instructions sell for 9.99, so you get the panel for £10. Oh, no, ridiculous, isn't it? That was the Brights one. So this is 1999. You get the instructions and the Brights. And the Brights panel. Beautiful. He's trying to make excuses now. He's trying to cover himself now. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. £19.99 for the instructions and the panel. Everybody pays that price. We've already checked out. So many have already checked out. Right? Once you... Well, everyone pays it. Everyone pays that. Shall we do the same now with the traditional? So if you bought earlier, don't worry, because we don't take your money till midnight. That's why when we drop prices and things like that, doesn't, if you came in on pre-order... Then it makes no difference because we don't take your money till midnight. Nineteen ninety nine for the instructions and the panel. So panel, the panel should be nineteen ninety nine. So, so think of it one way around. You either pay ten pounds, you either pay ten pounds for the panel, or you get your instructions for free. That's what you need to think of. Beautiful. Loads of you there. Loads. Well, loads anyway. I don't know. See, Haley could have just left it and let you know, left it as it was. But she said, "No, this is what was decided. This is what we're doing." She just wants. She's been on holiday for a week. She just wants to pull authority, pull rank, doesn't she? That's all it is. Um, nineteen ninety-nine for one or other. The graphics are in at the moment for the traditional, which is that one there. Anyway, uh, carry on. So you, we've made, have we made the pocket? So, so you put, you put the uh, fabrics right sides together on top of a piece of wadding. Yeah. And I'm going to sew all the way around, but make sure you leave a little turning gap at the bottom. Okay. A uh, quarter inch stitch throughout as well. A what, what? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Uh, are you doing any, have you got any classes coming up in the Village Hall? Uh, yeah, I'm going to advertise it on my website from probably this evening, actually. Oh, so we can have an exclusive? Yeah, so it will be, um, so it will go online tonight or tomorrow morning, yeah. and it's on the 30th. Of this month? Yeah. And what is it? Uh, free motion quilting. And where is it? In Wellsbourne. In the Village Hall, in where I have my jabs? Yeah. Right, I'm yeah. Get, well, I'll go and get my di di diary in a minute. Yeah, oh yeah, you have to pop in. Well, no, last time you, you told me too late, yeah, didn't I you, did. last time? Yeah, yeah, it's on a Tuesday. It will be 10 till 4. Loads of parking. Uh, free cake. Nice. Oh, there's a nice cake shop around the corner. What oh, day I, of the week? I go to West's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah where we go. Pretty Helen. Um, yeah. Tuesday. It's on a Tuesday. Oh, Helen only works on a Wednesday. Yeah. But it would be nice, though. So, yeah. West's West is the baker's in um, Wellsbury. Yeah. I'll get my diary in the break and I'll have a look. Oh, actually, uh, oh, yeah, I'll, get, I'll wait for my diary. I won't ask Ben to see if I'm here because I'll, I'll see I might have something else in the diary. But it's not just, you're, you won't just be learning free motion quilting. You'll actually go in a way like a sampler, With a project. like a sampler cushion, but in, in each square. So there'll be, and it's a nine patch, but in each square you're learning a different free motion technique. Yeah. And uh, do they do they need to bring? I was thinking if they, somebody buys this, could they bring this with them as their project? This will be yeah. They could bring this with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they have to bring their own sewing machine. Yeah, bring your own sewing machine, and it must uh, you must be able to use obviously free motion on it. To yeah. Make sure and what about and they need the foot then a foot and drop the feed dog. Yeah, drop the feed dogs and the darning free yeah. motion foot with it. Yeah, that's all you need. But they can't, you can't buy it yet because it's not on a website yet. So what um what uh, fe are you doing festival of quilts? Uh, I'll be there, yeah. I'm not teaching at Festival of Quilts, oh, though. Controversial. No, only because it's just that 
time because I've got so much on at the minute. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's um, oh, and the kids are on holiday as well. And the kids are off, and and I, th I, th I th the last couple of times I've done it, I've just been not a very good mom because I'm sending them off. Yeah, to, it's different. Well, I suppose also you'll be there uh, as Delphi Brooks fabric designer for Lewis and Irene. As I'll well, be right? there for that. Yeah. yeah, and I'll be there with Sewing Street yeah. as well. Oh, will you? Are we doing demos then? I don't know, but I'll be. Have I been asked to do it yet? I can't remember. I can't keep up. Oh, no, I had to force them to tell me when I was going. Yeah, I'll, they wouldn't tell me. I'll find out. I'll find out. And then they went, oh, you can come on Sunday afternoon. Oh, I'm not coming on Sunday afternoon. No one's there. <laughs> According to John Scott Sewing World, I'm on Sewing Street on the 30th of April. But I could always come on my way home from here. I'm here on the yeah, 30th yeah. of April, so I yeah. can just come on the way. It would be on till four. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'll make sure there's some gluten-free cake for you. Oh, no, it's right, because I'll be on my way home. It doesn't matter oh, if I'm okay. windy. I'll get, in my hot, I'll get in my cold tub when I get in. Oh, crazy. Turn it into a jacuzzi. Oh. <laughs> You've done your turning hole a bit small on that one. It's all right, it will come through. Okay. <laughs> it, so yeah. that's wadding you've got in there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, it'd be a nice. It would be a nice day because a lot of people have been asking me for f the free motion workshop. So, um, and I didn't want it to just be something that you just learn the technique. I wanted to do, so you go away with something yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. No, it'd be good. It'd be good fun. But there'll be everything in there from just free motion to a bit of confetti quilting and a bit of everything. So, right. Uh, no, it won't be available there though. So you turn it out, so you make sure that the wadding goes in the middle. I'm just going to get a little pokey thing. Yeah, it's the one on the shelf behind you, yeah. The stiletto. And make sure you... Check out, check out, check out. Lots of people watching. Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Loads of you there. And then, they're good, these. I want one of these. Yeah, it's brilliant, there. Oh, Frisco, when she leaves, cat. The stiletto <laughs> will be in her bag. Don't say it doesn't matter to her. <laughs> cat just went, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, she, they're gone. <laughs> I haven't got one of these. Oh, I'm, I'm using the end of my scissors and I end up poking holes through them. You never do that. Let's never do that. There we go. So let's give that. Oh, I've got to do it by the book, haven't I? Because I'm here. Can't iron on there, I'll get No, it. no, somebody messaged me the other day when I wasn't even on saying, Oh, Delphine's ironing on the cutting mat. Ah, it's all right, nothing happens. I do it all the time at home. Yeah. I've got to behave myself when I'm here, though. Mark. Yes, you do. So there's no need to hand stitch the turning gap so, uh, down because we're going to sew it down when it comes to. <laughs> Thank you. Um, who is it from? Uh, collector in East Riding of Yorkshire, we can't deal with that because we have no access to sales or anything like that. You need to ring the call centre. It's completely for free, right? But Ben has no access to anything like that, so he can't ask answer questions about orders that have gone through. So if you if you ring that number now, 0800 0014433, it's up there. It's literally up there. They'll sort it out for you, or they'll better tell you uh, what it's about. There we go. So I've pressed that nice and tidy. So again, there's no need to hand sew the turning gap closed or anything like okay. that. Okay. So then you're just going to pop it on top of your, your tidy. So that's not as long as the actual piece no, of fabric, No, because you, you're going to bag that out. So you oh, okay. need to make sure that it's not to the very ends. Right. And we're just going to pin that in place. Doesn't have to go all the way through the bows or the pins, just enough to catch the fabric underneath, just so it doesn't move around. Yeah. And then we're just going to sew down around the edges as close as you can. I'd, I've written in the instructions as close as you can, but about an eighth of an inch. Yeah. And also down the two sides. So you can choose to just do that one, and it can be one open po pocket, or you can do it. Yeah, lovely. Three pockets. Make sure you back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Oh, look at that. Look at that in the bottom right hand corner there. Look 
look at the screen, Delphine. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah. Is that a new thing, then? Hey, Dolly did that. Oh, look at that. It's all changed. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. As long as it, as long as it doesn't cover up any sewing, it's absolutely fine, yeah. What, by sewing this close to the edge, it's going to make it really tidy and it's yeah. also going to sew down that gap. Yeah. Remember, the one in the picture is the traditional colourway and the one Delphine's sewing with is the bright colourway. Yeah, oh, this is fantastic for beginners, yeah. Oh, now you see, Ollie's daughter, who's 10 suddenly got the bug for sewing. Oh, so he's bought her a little sewing machine. Nice he's thing. taken it. What would you buy the other day for, for her? There was some kit we had the other day. Uh, what was it? What was it? He was going to buy it. And I said, don't buy it. You're not allowed to buy it while we're on air. Anyway, he got her a kit the other day. And now he's thinking of getting this for as well. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, was it at the hand stitching? Was it um, Victoria's hand stitching? There you go, and you just do that three times, and then yeah. you've got your little... Lovely little pockets there. And then all nice and lined, so look. Perfect. So to do the tabs, they're hanging tabs. Yeah. Which I've lost. Oh, no. What did you cut them out of? There they are, aren't they there? Oh, no. No. I've got one in, one in my hand, but there's another one somewhere. Why do I always lose something? I haven't even moved. I've not moved an inch. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh. I'll we'll have to do this carefully because I've... Oh, watch your back here. Do you want me to do it for you? Oh. So I yesterday I had Steffi on crutches. Today I've got you limping with your oh. lower back. So you're going to get your tabs and you're going to... They're like this at the moment. Yeah. And then you're just going to fold them in half and give them a press. And what you're going to do then is we're going to sew them... You just sew down that open side, but make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the end. Is it your coccyx that's hurting? Bum cheek. Oh, your... My glutes. Glutes, that's a I glute. Think I've, it's to give it I'm not correct. sure if I've pulled it or if it's like a sciatica, because it's in my oh, leg as well. Oh, no. But it's on my right side, but you don't get it in your right, do you? I don't know. You get a sciatica in either leg, yeah, can't you? Yeah, I don't you? know. But yeah. it's... Yeah, it's not very nice. And then you're I've got a very good man in Coventry who can get rid of that for you. Have you? Yeah, he does laser treatment and, oh, and, really? and this, um, it's like this gun thing he puts on you. It's electric shocks and all your fillings all shake while he's doing it. Oh, that sounds horrendous. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm going again in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone else said about acupuncture. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm... I used to have, when I lived in Chiswick and I was really, really stressed busy-wise, every Sunday afternoon I'd go and have a, an acupuncture session. I've, I've never, I've only had, you know, I've had it done once. Yeah. But I haven't had it you done. You have to get the right person to it. It's really funny because my dad, who was so anti-anything, the doctor knows best, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, only, it was of that generation, wasn't he? Anyway, he had, he had such a bad back, he couldn't get out of the car. And in the end, the doctor said, go and have acupuncture. He said, well, you know, well. Mm. he was an ex-RAF man. He wasn't going to have all that mamby pamby He had two acupuncture sessions and the back pain that he'd had for really? years and years. So from then on, it was like anything that was wrong with it, oh, go to acupuncture. I was going, I've got a cold, Dad. Get to acupuncture. <laughs> go to acupuncture. Oh, bless. But he was, he was so won over by the fact that putting pins in, in your body... Oh, no, he'd completely, utterly admitted that he was wrong. Yeah. No, I'm definitely... He was... I'll I tell you what else about my dad. My dad, at one point, did find out that he'd got uh, uh, cancer, right, and got better from it. It wasn't, it wasn't a... De uh, it was a cancer, but it wasn't a life-threatening cancer. But it really shocked him because he really... Because during the war, he was flying Spitfires during the war. He got his OBE for saving children and bringing them into the country and all that sort wow. of thing and everything. So he was a proper, proper... When he, and he thought he was immortal. So when he had this scare, he suddenly went, I've always wanted to learn to play golf. I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano. And I've always wanted to learn how to cook. 
Mm. So he did all of those. He wasn't poorly by that point, but he did all of those things. But, which was fantastic, but then it meant at Christmas, he insisted on Christmas, making the Christmas dinner. And like, ev no, no, it was brilliant, but every single thing was like cordon bleu cooking. You couldn't just have plain sprouts or plain peas. You had to have sprouts with bacon and chestnuts, and you had to have peas with this and this and lemon and that. So, you know, when you want, just want a good old roast potato with a vegetable, yeah. and it was all, like the soup was always port and stilton and something else, oh, you know. fancy. Which is very fancy, but, you know, but it kind of made him realise, oh, I'm not immortal. If I'm yeah. going to do these things, I have to do it now, sort of thing. Yeah. How old was he when, when he... Oh, he was in his 90s when he passed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, no, all the men in... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here for a long time, everyone, because all the men, and both sides of my family, my mum's side and my dad's side, the men live till their 90s. So I keep yeah. going on about how old I am, but I'm only two-thirds of the way through it if it's like that. I've yeah. still got another 30-odd years to go, God willing, do you know what I mean? That's a lot of sewing straight, isn't it? Of, can you imagine me sitting here at 90? Oh, it would be brilliant. Absolutely I'll, brilliant. Well, no, because be, I'm hoping by then I'll be living in the home and I'll be the one in the corner in my raincoat dribbling and shouting abuse at everyone. <laughs> That's going to be me when I'm 90. I'd love to see that. But they're all... They're all they're Not all, in that way, but you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, but they're all... Um, they're, oh, oh, no, they've always... Oh, all the men, and both my mum and my dad's side, have been compassmented. Like my... I'll say about my great, uh, great granddad lived till he was 105. Wow. Uh, candle bum starch, wooden leg and et rhubarb every day. And he swears that's why he lived till 105. Really? And he smoked. He smoked, like, the woodbines and things like that. Oh, crikey. Mom and Aunt, my nan and grand were both, you know, because it was what was done, wasn't it? Yeah. He smoked woodbines, you know. I'm the opposite. I've probably only got a couple of years left. Oh, well, because <laughs> you're too healthy. No, no, my um, mum and dad died really Oh, young. no. Yeah, my dad was only 50. <gasps> Yeah, I was only a baby. You see, that, that's ter that is terrifying, because when you then reach that age, mm. it's kind of like, oh... Yeah. Not that we're trying to be maudlin. We're not trying. We're, but what we're trying to say is enjoy you every day. Never know day. what's round the corner. You don't. You don't know what's round the corner. <sighs> well, I'm sure little Paul won't mind me saying, right? No, little Paul's. Blessing. Little Paul's. Uh, it's all. It's all out there now. I've known. Yeah. I've known. It's awful because you, I'm not awful because it just proves that I can't keep a secret. He told me ages ago. And it was that I wanted to just uh, sympathise, empathise, but couldn't obviously say anything at all. Little Paul, who you used to work with, he's... Now, it's not life-threatening at the moment. He's going to have an operation. He's going to have a chemo wash and everything. But you don't know what's round the corner. No. You it do not shocking. know. And he's only 40. 41, is he now? But you know what I mean? It, you don't know what's round the corner. So it's really important to live your life mm. to the fullest if you can. Anyway, end of lecture, end of sermon. So that's why I'm going home and jumping in my cold water tub. Oh, I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. Not for me. And I have to tell you, I said Julie was saying the same yesterday. I didn't think I could do it because I can't get in the sea. I'm rubbish. I'm one of those people who walks into the sea going, oh, oh, yeah. uh, oh. Uh, uh. I did it just to do it. But yeah. you do feel a bit stupid standing in your back garden in a tiny pair of shorts, <laughs> thinking if anybody could see me now, going, oh, getting in the <laughs> cold tub. Oh, no, but you've got all big guns now, haven't you? I've had a feel. Oh, yeah, yeah. look. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've got it stuck in the eye. I've re oh, no. Hold on. Oh, it's all right. Right. No, she hasn't melted anything on the iron. I haven't broken anything. Somebody's left some lines on here, though. That wasn't me. No, that was Hobby Maker. Oh, what were they using? The exactly. Exactly. So oh, June, June, I'm not making light of anything. Poor old June has just put, you never know what's around the corner. I'm sure jo June might mind me saying, she lo oh, I'm going to get upset. She lost her son. This year, he th found out he was poorly and he was gone within weeks, sort of thing. Oh, and he was only in his 30s. Do you know? So, June, Lester. we're sending you lots and lots yeah. of love, June. But you don't know what's around the no. corner, do you? You don't know what's Scary. there. Scary. Yeah, both of my boys have got scarlet fever at the moment. Oh, and you've hugged me. Oh, it's not, it's not contagious after. It's been nearly a week. But, yeah. But I haven't had it. Don't I have to? Don't you have to be... Oh, it was one of those... Oh, no, I'm thinking of mumps. Yeah, if you're no. an older man and you get mumps, it can be very dangerous. No, you're all right. Yeah. You're all right. What's, so, scarlet, what's, the, what's the symptoms of scarlet? Uh, strawberry tongue. No, you've got a lovely... Nice <laughs> um, I haven't scraped this morning. Mine, so mine were covered in rash oh. and headaches and temperature. But they're back at school. They're, they're all right now. They're oh, they're back at school. school. Oh, OK, fine. Yeah. I'll let you off then. So to do your tabs, make sure you press them so the seam's in the centre. So when you fold it, you're not going to be able to see it. So there's your tabs. So I'm just going to press those, actually, just so it makes it easier to place them on the thingy. And then I'll quickly whip you up a front of a tote bag as well. 
That means you're run down, Ben, if you've got a mouth ulcer. Good morning, you lovely pair. Not sure who Teresa's talking to. She was watching <laughs> Good Morning Britain. Beautiful day in Essex. You're so right, you don't know what's around the corner. Exactly. Make the most of every day. It's true, though. And sometimes, I don't want to go on about it, but sometimes we don't. We just get up, we do our drudgery, we go to bed and don't enjoy the day. I think it's important to do one thing a day that makes you happy, or yeah. just, even if it's just something little like that. Very true. Uh, Roxana, my great grandfather signed the pledge at 12. What does that mean? I don't know. Does that mean he's going to be a vicar? When he got to 99, he decided to take up... Oh, no, he's going to be alcohol-free and cigarette-free. When he got to 99, he decided to take up drinking, alcohol and smoking. He still lived till he was 102. Good on him. Yeah. Fancy <laughs> waiting till you're 99 before you have your first cigarette. <laughs> Bless him. Anyway, doing the tabs. So you put the tabs on. All you have to do is you put them on. And make sure you're away from the edge. Yeah. And they evenly space them on. I put four on, but you can put as many as you like on. And what you're going to do is, I'll just quickly, uh, your base stitch them into place. Uh, Sue said, that's why I buy a piece of fabric every day that I love. No pockets in a shroud. No, no, I suppose not. But you do, if you've got a family, you do have to think about that. I, I've only got two cats to leave my money to. So, it's fine. in fact, it's really funny to say this. My, my niece, right, you know, my gorgeous, gorgeous niece, Alex, she's a bit worried that I'm working too hard. And yesterday she sent me a painting that she's done of Luther and Ghost asleep in bed. And then through the window, you see my little car driving up the road. And Aww. Luther and Ghost are saying, does he leave earlier every day? And the other saying, I don't care if he does more. More, more space, like a little cartoony painting. That's lovely. You, put it, you have to show his picture. I'll put on, I'll put on, I was yeah. meant to put it on Facebook last night, forgot all about it, but, um, and she sent me a bar of chocolate to go with it. That's nice. And, and a, a, a thing to go... You, oh, they, they, oh, I know. They're the gold, tabs. the ones yeah. that have got gold in to yeah. stick on your face, under yeah. your eyes, yeah. I'll try those out and let you know what they're like. I haven't tried them. Let me know. Now I can see. <laughs> 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 anyway, put the tabs on. Put the tabs so you on. Just put, your, you just put your tabs on, sew them on, and then when you bag it out, when you yeah. sew the thing on, just like the way you bagged out the uh, thing, then yeah. they'll flip up that way. Brilliant. So that's that. Let's whip up a bag. Right. Let me remind you what we're doing. Let me remind you what we're doing, right? Because it's just gone, oh, it's way gone. We have got, these are brilliant value, right? So which one am I going to do first? Traditional first. So traditional is in the lead. Now traditional is this colour. Oh, no, no. Where's everything gone? Where's the hangy thing? Oh, it's on the t No. Oh, yeah, this is traditional. That's traditional. And is it this one here that's traditional? Yeah, they're the traditional ones, right? So you get the panel, right? Huge panel, which should be $19.99 on its own. You get this and you get Delphine's inspirational instructions for $19.99. That's ridiculous, isn't it? The whole shebang for $19.99. That's the traditional colourway. Then we've got it in the bright colourway, which is this one here, and, and the bag behind me. There you go, they're, they're, the, they're the bright colours there. Oh, let me just put that back up like that. They're the bright colours there. This is the panel. There you go. Oh, I love this one. You see, I'd, straight away, this is me personally, I'd go for the bright. I'd go for the bright straight away. So that's $19.99 for the panel and the instructions. Fantastic price. Really, really good price. Check out, check out. There are lots of you got them in baskets. Uh, right, uh, let me run through. Right, we've done the ruler, the 24 and a half by 24 by 6 and a half inch ruler. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a ruler first, though. I'll just go what, what we've had so far. So we've done the ruler, $28.99. We've had the Aliso Iron, because it was in the net, it was in Delphine's next hour, but I said we're gonna do it in this hour. There it is, 162.99 on split pay. Then we've also got the gorgeous pom-poms. Now let me do the massive pom-poms first. Now these are called Betty Boo's something something pom-poms, aren't they? Bertie Bow pom-poms. Jumbo pom-poms. You get 10 metres of them for uh, 39.99. 10 metres for 39.99. Gorgeous. We've also got Berties in the turquoise. Look, I'm not going to unravel those, but they're beautiful, aren't they, in the turquoise? 
39.99. We also have the smaller pom-pom in the soft pink, the green, the peacock, the grey, and the white. Which ones would you like to do first? White first. That's this one here. I'll hold it up. There you go. There you go. The white one's first. These are slightly smaller look. 28 millimetre soft pom pom fridge. You get 11 metres for 14 99 there. Beautiful. There's a picture. Lovely. That's the white one. Then we've got the silver grey one. Beautiful, aren't they? Now, Susan Briscoe mentioned earlier, saying, I'm glad they sell pom-poms on a roll because when I made something recently, I had to buy white ones and dye them myself. No, don't have to do that now, Susan Briscoe. Then I've got, now I'm calling this peacock. Dark turquoise, yeah, dark turquoise. Or just turquoise. 14 99 you're getting 11 metres on there. Then we've also got the green. This is a gorgeous Victorian chenille. Uh, what the, the, in the old days, they used to put a chenille shawl over the top of the grand piano, didn't they? So, Pom, you won't remember. $14.99. Like, oh, they called it lime. I wouldn't call it lime green. No. I wouldn't call it lime green. It's beautiful, rich green, that one. And then we've also got the very, very soft pink. You can hand wash this. Don't tumble dry it. I'm not quite sure what that symbol is. It's a square with three lines in it. Not quite sure what that symbol is. Oh, I don't, I don't not an iron. It's not a... Don't iron. Don't dry clean. Don't tumble. Don't put it in the oven? I don't know. In the oven. <laughs> 14.99 for 10 metres. Oh, 11 metres. 11 metres of your pink there. We also have the fabrics that Delphine's been using, or some of the fabrics Delphine's been using. So we had that lovely apricot earlier there. Peach. I got it right earlier, I've got it wrong this time. No, they're not the same fruit, are they? Peach and apricots. Beautiful. Then we had a chartreuse. Oh, Ollie's niece is allergic to peaches. How do you find these things out? Yeah, no, but how, you're not like, it's not peaches, it's not like having a dairy one where it's in everything, is it? You know what I mean? At least peach isn't in everything. That's gorgeous. Is this, I want to say jade, but it's not jade. Oh, Baltic. That's a new one on me. Baltic? Mm, okay. And then a pale blue. Well, no, it's not pale, actually. It's a mid blue. Diane there, 3.79 half a metre. Just very quickly, the wadding, we had the bosal in our form earlier. For half a metre. It's one-sided, they're single-sided fusible, so just fusible on one side, don't fusible on both sides. And then we also had wadding, 80-20 wadding, which has fallen on the floor now. We'll put the graphics in while you're, while you're um, deciding on it. Morning, John and Delphine. You've just mentioned your tub again. Have you been in it? Yes, I have. Thank you very much indeed. No, I've been in it, Karen. Been in it. No noises. No noises. It was really weird because I made the decision to do it. It was, blowing, it was one of those mornings where it was absolutely blowing a gale. And I went out through the, the French windows in the dining room with my dressing gown, my flip-flops on, my little shorts on. And I stood there, took the top. So it's got a thingy top on it and then the blow-up top. And then I thought, right, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then I got in and it wasn't, it was fine. You just have to remember to breathe and you literally stay there. The three minutes feels like an eternity. Then you get out and when you get out, you're so cold and then your body, and then I toweled myself down. And it's just weird standing in your back garden, toweling yourself down. Put my dressing gown back on, put my flip flops back in, went inside, then you suddenly all warm up and it's lovely. Are you, are you feeling any benefits on it? Uh, well, I've only done it twice, so, yeah, yeah. but I, I will be. My, it'll be, I'll lose weight, I'll get rid of any anxiety, and I'll be healthier. That's what it's for, apparently. Is that what it is? Or well, the, boy, the reason I did it was Jeremy Vine did a thing once about five, each day of the week he did something that's good for your mindfulness and well-being. Yeah. And the day I happened to be listening to it was Cold Tub Day. And the boy that's on 
Radio 2 in the morning, the, the Welsh weatherman, he plays the drums, I think he's called Owen Wynne Evans, something like that. He said he did it because his anxiety was going through the roof. OK. And he just thought, I've got to do something about it. Someone suggested the coal tub. And apparently, it not cured him, I'm not saying you're ever cured of anxiety, but he said it was the biggest thing that ever helped his anxiety. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. So, you know, I thought if it's, you know, it'll be a fad and then in a month's time it'll be a fish pond or something like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean? At the moment, it's a nice little... And also, you're supposed to put ice in it every day, right? Oh. And I thought, that's going to cost so much money. So when I finish a water bottle, and I fill it with water from the tap and put it in the freezer, so my whole freezer, I've got a standy uppy freezer, all it's got in it now, there's no food in it or anything, it's just bottles of frozen water. So you just drop those in, it takes the temperature. Because you've got a th thermometer bobbing around. What, it, if the, what if the ice sticks to your bits? <laughs> It'll go to, the, go to the bottom, won't oh, it, okay. hopefully. You've got shorts on. I'm I not know. Here. Can you imagine? They, I have to say, I was going to do it without anything on. Then I thought, imagine if I do have a heart attack. The poor, <laughs> you poor, the poor ambulance men that turn... Well, first of all, who'd find me? But secondly, the poor ambulance men turning up with this with nothing on. But, you know. Do you tell anyone before you go in it? Just in I case? can't be telling everyone up as far every morning. Oh, I'm going in, the, I'm going in now. <laughs> anyway, in keep case. going. I suppose you'll get used to it. Do what? You'll get used to it. Oh, I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it now. Oh, I couldn't do it. Yeah. But I, but I haven't put any ice in yet. Because I've just got... So the water I get in is nine degrees, which is still cold. Yeah. You're supposed to take it down to three degrees. When will I see you again? <laughs> um, but um, I haven't done that yet, so I've only done it at nine degrees so far. So what the idea is, each day I'll make it a little bit colder. Have you got a hot tub in your garden? You haven't, have you? No, the work, the work... When I bought the house, it had a hot tub in the garden, and apparently my street had a reputation... Or for, for having hot uh, to people going to each other's none of those people live there anymore but wondering the woman who lived in my house was known to be seen going down the road with a bottle of wine and no top on to get into someone else's hot tub brilliant yeah yeah <laughs> they don't do that anymore oh i can't imagine brad and susanna want me turning up going come on let's get in the hot tub then and my doctor lady oh and your doctor lady yeah well doctor of botox what? Don't go like that. We all know you have... Oh, no, you haven't had it recently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you... It's all said with love, you know that. Yeah, so we've got a doctor that lives in my road, right? And she gave up being a doctor doctor to take up aesthetics, right? And she's happier than she's ever been. She's making a load of money. And she does it all properly. She's got a little salon. on everything. She doing the house or anything. Got a little salon on everything. She does she's... all sorts, yeah. No, no. And she's travelling around the world now, learning all new techniques. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to have... Um, I had a B12 injection, because I was... Did she really, do that for you? Yeah, yeah, and it made me feel so much better. Dulcie has B12 injections. Yeah, because I'm yeah. low on that, and you yeah. can't always get it. No, and it's really weird, because people say to me, with my bad diet, because I don't eat meat, fish, dairy, nuts, or anything like that, that I'd be lacking in everything. And I have the tests every year. I go twice a year for all the blood tests, and I'm perfectly fine for yeah. all my vitamins and everything. I've just got a weird body. Not just looking, but the way it works, you know. Oh, you're lucky. It's like you've got the sounds of it. You're going, you're going well, no, no, I am very lucky. They look at it and go, like, my cholesterol's fine. Everything like that's all fine. The only thing that I have bad is blood sugars that go like this, and they have no mm. idea why, because I eat the same stuff the whole time. So. Oh, wow. That's it. Anyway, anyway, uh, my husband goes into his hot tub every morning about 5 o'clock, yeah, slightly different. He loves it, helps with his knees. Well, yeah, 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 but that's a bit different. It's not yeah. shocking the system, is it? It's like getting into a bath, that. Oh, lovely, I love a hot tub. The um, people two doors down that way have had a new hot tub fitted, and it was, it's enormous, and they've got a great big telly, so they can lie in it and watch, sit in it and watch yeah, the Yeah, well, it's all posh by you, isn't it? Yeah. It's all yeah. posh, but he's yeah. posh. Anyway, what are you doing? Faffing. I'm faffing. <laughs> Taking a while. Why don't you get a... Ch I, I have, but I don't do... It. If I say that one, will you turn it for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, come me... on, really, you've got two, two minutes, excuse me. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have it done in two minutes, if you help me. No, you say... I always say two minutes to the guests when it's five minutes. Because if you say I've got five minutes, they take eight minutes. What are we making, anyway? What, what are we doing? It's still the, the wall hanging, is it? Strap. Oh, strap. Thank you. Good. See, he's good. He can be good to me. What? Huh? Hey. So to make the bag for yeah. the panel, I cut out the one with all the small squares on, and I cut out a nine patch from the other side. But to make it bigger, I actually used some of the border from this 
part of the panel to make it the same size. So you're just going to sew those down the edges, right sides together. I'm not using any pins, but... Uh, hang on, sorry, sorry, Delphine. Patricia, my love, if you're watching, we can't deal... Your, she's now sent another message asking us to get in touch with her about... We can't deal with any of that from here. You need to do that directly with the call centre, with the customer service team. We can't sort anything like that out with, for, for you from here, I'm afraid. Anyway, sorry, carry on. So I'm just going down the side. So you'll... I'm not, I'm not doing any lining pieces today, but if you cut your line in the exact same size. I thought I'd done it and it's got stuck halfway down there. So you do your lining the exact same way, only you'll leave a gap, about a four inch gap at the bottom of the lining, yeah. which you'll use for turning. So trim the corners and poke them out. So I'm using, I'm doing the traditional tote in this one. Yeah. Just gonna give that a <laughs> Just as well. Could you do it with one strap? I might be I might have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is comical watching you do it. Don't watch me doing it. I am having fun, but it's not working. God, I love these t turners as well, but I don't know why I did right. It's because I wasn't concentrating. I was busy chatting while I was... See, this is why I'd be a rubbish demonstrator, because I can't chat and sew at the same time. Nor can I half time. What? <laughs> Nor can I. <laughs> Especially on my, my next one, I've got to be... You have to, you have to be very organised. Oh, no, the next one will be very concentrating on the next one, because the next one's organised, isn't it? We got him. <laughs> Do it again. It's nearly there. Right, so it's a race of who I've done mine by hand. Oh <laughs> have you done it? <laughs> I've just turned it back through the right <laughs> way. How on earth did you manage that? Can we do like cut the Oh I've got it. Oh have you got it. Oh, oh be careful what you <laughs> Oh no. Oh. oh dear, what we like. Right, I'm nearly half, and then it will just pull through, so. So I'm demoing that you, it's, you can do it by hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, this would have worked, but I just wasn't concentrating, and I got the tube caught halfway through. <laughs> oh, dear. I definitely need my nails changing as well, because that's why it's taking me... Too long. Too long to do anything with. Oh, oh is he nearly there? He's concentrated, look. Uh, what? Uh, see? Well, I'm trying to... Where's the end of it? If I was at home, I would have turned these out, both of these, by now. Like you say, it's talking and... We'll be back in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we're not <laughs> talking. We've run out of time anyway, but uh, uh, hang on. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm usually so good at turning. I was going to say, you usually turn them really quickly. Yeah. That was why I gave it to you. Well, I'll try again then. <laughs> but anyway, so. Yeah, keep going. I'll explain. Yeah. So we'll put my strap, I'll, I'll show you how we put the straps on in a sec. If not, it's all in the instructions. Um, but the lining, you'd have the lining wrong sides out, but the outer bag, this, this one, um, you'd have this right sides out. And then you would put the outer bag inside the lining pieces, right sides together, matching all of the seams. Yes! He's done it! He's done it. 
Sorry about that, Delphi. <laughs> And uh, and then you'll use some clips. I recommend using the clips rather than... Oh, got the clips. Oh, I've, I've fell in love with those clips now. These? For everything, yeah. And then, uh, and then you clip it all together, sew around the edge, and then you turn it out through the turning gap at the bottom. These are the hanging clips. These ones you can put patterns in and hang them on hooks and everything. They're very, very... So you use them to clip, but you also, you've also got a little hole in the top so you can hang them from hooks and things. They're brilliant. Oh, gee. I need to get some more, though, because I've had a packet, and then because I come in, in and out of here, bringing stuff, and I forget where I put them. Which is what she's saying. She wants more, Kat. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the stiletto, Delphine shopping is today, is the stiletto and clips. Some more clips, please. Yeah. Uh, right, let me just recap the bundles. We've got traditional, which is... Now, this panel should be 19 99 on its own, right? You're getting the panel... And you're getting Delphine's instructions for 19.99. So that's your traditional colourway there, which creates this. And then we also have the bright colourway, which I love. This is the one I this one I'd get. Bright colourway. Plus your pattern, plus your instructions, 19.99. Gorgeous. Right. Delphine will be back. She won't can't finish. Delphine will be back in an hour. She's making the bag behind her. Look, there are the straps for a bag behind but her. It, yeah. Yeah, it'll look, here nice. you go. Yeah, it will look nice. Yep. Yeah. Um, she'll be back in an hour, so she's going to do the bars yellow quilt behind her. Now, the price is on the website is not the price you're going to be paying. It's a traditional uh, William Morris bars yellow. There it is. Now, I just need to say that, is that our picture is that the picture of ours right what we'll do is when we get to it because they, they've replaced a couple of the fabrics with different fabrics so we'll go from the picture on the front of the box when we come back because uh, they're the correct fabric. i'll show you anyway the fabrics when we come back. that's in an hour i've got an hour of bag making uh products coming up straight after this four minute break <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers. 
ever again. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Bag making hour, but before we start it, I'm going to do the early bird again, in case you weren't here at 8 o'clock. Obviously, you don't get the fat quarters in here, but the fat quarter bag sells hugely at the regular price. However, we took a pound off because it was the early bird. Everybody was multi-buying at 8 o'clock this morning. If you want one, come in and get it. So basically, it's this lovely big bag. As I say, you don't get the fat quarters in. These little walls are removable. So you can make it into one big bag. You've got pockets down the side. You've got a lovely see-through top, which not only means you can see what's in the bag, but it also keeps it dust-free. Uh, and you can stack them on top of each other. And if you're going to classes, you can take the whole project in there. Couldn't you? If you're doing, an EP, if you're doing a Jenny Jackson EPP quilt, uh, pieces, fabric, finished pieces, scissors, glue pen, all fit in there. All fit in there. So if you're off to Jenny Jackson's house, one of her classes, take all your bits and bobs in this. Um, uh, uh, no, I don't know where the nearest coffee shop to Jenny Jackson's house is. You might want to take a flask. And she's got a posh toilet upstairs where the sink is the top of the cistern. Do you know what Because it's quite a small toilet upstairs. I don't know if you would use that one if you used the downstairs one. But anyway, so the toilet's there and then the tap and the sink. Hang on, I'll The tap and the sink are at the back there. So you reach over and wash your hands like that. On top of the cistern, yeah? Anyway, and also Jenny Jackson, that was the manliest yes ever. I don't know which bit, what she was talking about then. Anyway, 
Yeah. She's talking to Delphine, yeah. 9 dollars No, 10 10 dollars 10 Whoops. $10.99. I nearly reduced the price then. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Move on. Let me just zip this up and pass it on to... Uh... I'll just pop it down there in case he comes back to it later. Welcome to Back Making Hour. What would you like? What does that mean? Here, this. Okay. I'm going to do this section first, right? So these are one bundle. These are straps and these are leather um, clasps. I presume he means this. Right, so is that dark brown or is that black? No, it's black. Now, these are leather, these. I've got some faux leather. These are leather. Black sew-on leather bag fastener with antique brass clasp. Now, Stuart gives these a name, and I can't remember what the name is he gives these. No, that's not it. No, it's not tongue and groove. That's a wall. Um, uh, anyway, that's how it works. You press the button in, and it clasps open like that. And the holes are there already, so it's, you haven't got to worry about stitching them on. Roxana says her, her partner has purloined a few of her fat quarter bags because he put CDs and DVDs in them. Hey, my CDs are all in a three great big storage box in the garage. I've got cassettes still as well. I've got cassettes still, but I've also still got a cassette player, so that's all right. Right, four ninety nine. that's the black one. Then I've got the brown one. Leather, remember. Pardon me. Beautiful. They're real leather, these. Real leather. With the lovely antique brass uh, fastenings, findings, clasps. Gorgeous. Make sure you check out of those. Then we've got tan. Well, I'm calling it tan. They might have called it something else. Tan. Five. I've only got four. Oh, I can't bear him. Oh, I've never seen him in that. I've only seen him in um, Next Top Model. Not Next Top Model. Next Top Design or whatever it's called. I can't remember. No, he, he's a presenter of it. Oh, I can't. Personal opinion only, not the panels of the channel. Can't bear him. Want to switch the, I have to switch the telly off. Right, and then the red one. I've never watched that show, so I don't know. Uh, red, red, leather. These are real leather, these, remember? Beautiful. Now, I've got faux leather strapping. I'm saying that. I'm, am I saying that? Yeah, faux leather in the tan. Oh, OK, that's chocolate, is it? OK, cheap chocolate. Uh, faux leather webbing in chocolate, two ninety nine. Oh, I know what I meant to ask you, Ben. Did you win? Oh, OK. All right, then. Two ninety nine. Now you, it's one meter. Now these are already cut. They're already cut. These aren't they? At a meter. This is not buying it by the meter. They're already cut at a meter. Beautiful. Two handles. Cut that in half. Lovely chopper handles. Lovely. Now I've also got that in a red. It's a dark red. It's not the same as the red. Don't buy it to go with the red clasp. Because it's this, it's this like burgundy Bordeaux colour, that one. Oh, it's, well, burgundy, I'm not sure if I call it burgundy. There you go, there's the colour there. Oh, oh, they're all whistling open. Oh, there you go, I can go there. That's your, that's your, that's your burgundy one. No, no, what you do is you, you, um, stick, you put your D-ring in. Oh, it depends on what kind of strap you're making, I suppose. But you put D-ring on the end of thing, so it into the seam or whatever. Is that right? Well, what were you thinking, Ben? You've got to fold them in half. Oh, no, no, no. When you cut it into a strap, then that's your strap there. So you'd either like put a clasp on the bottom there. That'd be your strap. 
or you put a D-ring in and sew that into your seam and things. You can machine through it. You'll need, a, you'll need a sturdy needle to machine through it. Right, then I've got uh, oh, no, another one, uh, another one with faux leather, but with a fabric top. Uh, Multicolour faux leather, you get a metre again. It's an inch wide. It's black on one side, like the black faux leather on one side, and then the multi. This is woven on this side. Very popular. Two ninety nine. So Ollie's going to take some to Glastonbury with him. You'll see, see Rebecca Reed there. Oh, he's not going to Glastonbury this year. Okay, now I've got some webbing, webbing ones. Oh, that one sold out. That one over there. So I've only got this one. Show you the pastel one. Is it? Oh, you're much with the times than I am. Webbing multicoloured vintage, they've called this one, vintage. What, vintage? Oh, man. How do we get from vintage to Manchester? Manchester. Right, the only other thing on this board is a set of three clasps. So you've got a bow clasp, which works like that. You've got a little bird that works like that. And then you've got a circular clasp that works like that. And you just press it down like, oh, oh. Has it been screwed on? Oh, it's been screwed on, that's why. That bit there goes on the, on the thing and then it just, is that right? Right, uh, it was an early bird the other day. We're going to match the early bird price. Yep. At 1477. 14 pounds and 70. You get all three. You don't choose one. You get all three of those. 1477. Gorgeous. So that's your kind of um, black gunmetal y grey. That's a silver and that's a gold. That's got a protective layer on it. Look, just so you can see underneath there. Very sheeny, shiny. Beautiful. £14.77 for all three. Oh, is it? £14.77. Well done, getting that at an early bird price. I'm not... Uh, oh, yeah, I'll pass, we're not going to repeat any of that, so I'll pass that to Kat. Kat's got a lot of packing away today. Right, now this... Is going to be very, oh, very popular, just so you know. Now, we put everything on one board so that you can see that in the gold, I've got everything. In the silver, I've just got those three. In the rainbow, I've got four, oh, five, six rainbow. Hang on, let me just do that. There you go. Six rainbow. Then with the brushed one, we've got three. And the black one, we've just got D-rings. So that's everything hardware-wise I've got this hour. Rainbow first. Right, so. Right, there are all the rainbow ones there. So what shall I do first? Did you get two of them? Yep, so that's this one here, 38 millimetre. I'd call it a D-ring, they've called it a loop. Two pieces. Lovely, aren't they? Really going to make your um, bagware, your homemade bagware, really pop, aren't they? Beautiful there. Lovely. Um, I, I, they call it Aurora Borealis or Rainbow, don't they? It's like kind of electromagnetised or something like that, isn't it? Oh, iridescent, what we're we being called now. Be what, a Jag car? Cat's putting away already. I <laughs> thought you just started to put away from that end of the table. Right, two ninety nine, two ninety nine. Right then, I've got two D rings, big D ring, small slider, and then triangular, big triangular, small. D rings, big. Next, these are an inch wide, twenty five millimeter. Gorgeous, two ninety nine. 
They're going to uplift, really, aren't they? Anything. If you made a, imagine making a black bag and just having those on. Pop of colour. 279 for two. Now, small D rings. Very, they're so cute, aren't they? You have to make a tiny bag, just have to make a tinier strap for them to go through. Beautiful. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Stuart always says, you might not be thinking of making a bag today, but think if you make one next Sunday or something like that, and you think, oh, just put a D-ring on. Oh, I've got a D-ring. Just have them in your stash, ready to go. Right, slider next. Beautiful. £2.29. Well, you put this on your strap, so you know when you have a strap that needs to get longer and shorter, you kind of wind your strap round it so you can slide it up and down to make your strap longer or shorter. I was going to say, I haven't got my satchel here. I'll show you on my satchel. I haven't got a rainbow one on my satchel. Uh, that's a wide one. That, what was that, 38 millimetre? I didn't say 38 millimetre, yeah, right. Now I've got these. Have you not seen these before? 25, uh, no, 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 they're, th they're bigger than 25 mil. These are 25 mil there. 38 millimetre. Again, look at the colourway on there. So you put your strap through there and then you put your lobster clasp through there. There you go, you can see the different colours there. 4 99 For the two, you get the two for 4 99 Then you've got the 25 millimetre ones. Three ninety nine for you two. Gorgeous. So that's all the rainbow done there. Right, so now shall I do yellow gold? So yellow gold, I've got the big D rings, or yeah, the 25 millimetre D rings, 25 millimetre triangle, 25 millimetre square D rings, and the wider um, slider. Oh, they're 20. Oh, 20 millimetres. I do apologise. 20 millimetres. That's an unusual because most straps are usually an inch, aren't they? Which is 25 millimetres. Twenty millimetre gold drinks there. Beautiful. So there you twenty millimetre D's in gold. Twenty five millimeter rectangles there. One ninety nine, these are one pound ninety nine. Are you measuring them? Yeah. <laughs> Cat was measuring them just to make sure everyone. No, one ninety nine. Beautiful. Then I've got your triangular. Now these will be these 20 mil as well then. Are oh, they 25? Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know. I, you see, I've not seen many of those around. I and mean, We've just had a few of them delivered just recently. I don't know exactly what you use them for. I'd imagine you put your lobster claw on there and you strap through there. But 
399. Then last but not least, the slider in the gold. This is a 38 millimeter one. Oh, there you go, one pound seventy-nine. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's all the gold. So I've got silver next. Let's do silver next. So I've got silver. I've got the two rectangle, thirty-eight millimeter D. I've got the 38 millimeter slider and I've got the 20 or 25 millimeter triangle and I've got a, um, what's that called? Magnetic rectangle, 38 millimeter rectangles in silver, 229. Oh, what's the matter? Ben's been off for a week. He's in today, and now he's off for another week after today. Why did you? Did, why did you just one day? When did you set the whole lot off? Well done. Then I've got the thirty-eight millimeter uh, slider. Oh. 179. All of these are, are, are essentials, really, to do bag making. Just have them in your stash, ready to go. Till you go to make a bag and think, oh, why didn't I have a slider in stock? Should have listened to that Stuart when he told me to buy them. Right, then I've got these triangular ones. I've never seen it, I don't know. Three ninety-nine. Two of those, you get two of those, twenty-five millimeter silver triangular loop. And then last but not least in the silver is your magnetic clasp. These look quite sh shallow, don't they? Let's have a look at them. Oh, they're so strong, I can't. Oh, cat. So strong, that one. Oh, maybe it's just me being weak, having a weak moment. Yeah, look, there you go. So you get your boy and your girl and your two washers. So what you do is you put that through your fabric... Then you put your washer on the back there. Use the washer to mark the holes. And I'm not going to do it. You bend those backwards or forwards to hold them in place. So that's on one side, and then that's on the other, and then they just clasp together like that. At uh, one ninety-nine, pound ninety-nine. Right now, I've got brushed brass. I don't think they'll have called them that. Both in thirty-eight millimetre. Got the D-ring and the slider. Oh, bronze, I've called it, bronze. What you do is when you put your strap to, you make sure the strap goes on that side there so you don't see the join. It's not like jewellery where you need it, you know. And then we've got the slider in the 38. Got lots of PU to get through, lots of interfacing to get through, lots of panel um, uh, projects. I've got bag handles. Got Lisa Lamb. She's up for sale today. Then I've got the black. D rings and twenty five and thirty eight. Thirty eight thirty eight first, there you go. Two pound twenty nine for your black.
Oh, oh, cat suddenly ran off then. One ninety nine. Beautiful. Right. Let's do some kits now then. Right, OK, so these are behind me here, Delphine ones behind me here, called the Amelie bag. So I've got it in three different colours. Right, so that one there, I haven't got the, uh, the bird one. I haven't got the bird one. I've got Aztec in black and white. No, I meant as in I haven't got it for sale today. I've got the green bird. I've got the black and white Aztec and I've got the colourful Aztec one. So this is here, which I haven't got a sample of. Now, Delphine wants me to point something out to you about this because she had a few people measure. She gives in the, all the, pe the instructions and then we print these up. They've been printed correctly but in the wrong order. So what you need to do, what you need to do is you need to photocopy all of these, right, and then sellotape them together. So you're making one that looks like that. Hang on. One that looks like that. But these are the pieces. They're the small versions. And then what you cut these out and you stick the A to the B and everything like that. So you have to make up your own patterns. She says it's very obvious when you just put them together, keeping the colours together. But they've been printed in the wrong order. So they haven't come out. Basically, copy them. Draw them out. Copy them on tracing paper. Don't cut them out of this. Then put them down and you'll see where they go. But they're not in the right order in the pattern. And she had a couple of people message saying, I can't get them to go together. So obviously that bit there goes to that bit there and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, there's the finished bag. So that's the one. Now, I'm thinking, do you have the choice? Yeah. So there's a choice of having the flap that goes curved like that. Or the flap that goes diagonal like that. That's a, both of those are in there. So all of those thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. I'm sure you must need something else. Let me just tell you. You'll need half a meter of bosal and a fat quarter of wadding, and then you've got all the fabrics there. Beautiful. So that's the Amelie bag with the multicoloured Aztec, the uh, burgundy and the light denim. Gorgeous. Then the black and white version, which is here in the corner over there. Oh, all right, cat. Do you want me to get it? Now, the bag's bigger than I thought it was going to be, look. Thought it wasn't going to be that big. It's nice, isn't it? Step-to-step -step guide to how to create the Amelie bag. Cross-body or shoulder bag with optional pockets and quilting. There you go. Oh, this one's got wool inside it. Lovely, nice, deep bag. Actually, my... Um, do you say a laptop would fit in there? Oh, Delphine said that, apparently. Right here, it's actually a black and white one. I've not, I've not seen that, the black and white Aztec before. It's the tap is one of our tapestries. Oh, look at the other side. Actually, do you know now? I'm going to be a bit controversial now. No, 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 no. Right, that's the back, right? But I think I prefer the back. And it's the kind of fabric you can use either side. Let me just check with the salvage. Oh. Now, controversially, I think this is the front. I think that might be the front. Anyway, it's your choice. It, you can use either side. You can use either side, but I think, feeling the salvage, I think this is the front. Beautiful. But you can use it either side. Beautiful, that. I haven't got any of these by the half metre. I've only got the PUs by the half metre today. Anyway, that's that one, that one, that one. Now I've got the William Morris, the green birds. 
It was the cream bird, I think, that sold out on the day. I haven't got the green one behind. Oh, and she's used the class, but that one as well. Right, so I've got the green, this is the green bird here. It's not Strawberry Thief. It's pigeons. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's just called birds. I think I've called it pigeons. Then you've got your blue denim and your grey lining and your instructions. You do need some bosal and you do need some wadding, which I'll be showing you later in the hour. And what date was it on, please? 22nd of March. This was 22nd of March. Beautiful. That one goes there. Right, that's the end of Delphine's patterns. Amber makes. I've got one. Oh, it's underneath. It's been put underneath. Sorry. There we go. So I've got, I've got that one there, that one there, and then the other one, which we can't find, which we only launched last week. Okay, now this one. In the blue and the green, completely sold out. We got more panels. The green sold out. There must only be a few of the blue ones left now. There you go. So what you get is you get the pattern. Now, it's a different shape. It's a di Look, I'll show you the picture there. What date did we do it on, please? 2nd of April. That was the green one that completely sold out twice. Then this is the blue one, the Shiburi. The screen was Portuguese tiles, and then this one was your Japanese shibori. Beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, and uh, there's also a full tutorial with that as well. So even if you missed what um, Rebecca making on air last week, you can... Um, now, this is from her sewing school, so it's simple. It's, it's beginner-friendly, basically. Not just for beginners, as we saw on the other day, but... Um, it is beginner friendly and you'll learn how to patchwork in this one. Lots of instructions there. £22.99. Now, did she say you needed, you need handles or, no, 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 you don't need handles because there's the handles there, made to look like leather even with the pun pretend punch holes in them. Um, but you might need some wadding, hang on. Wadding, yes, yeah, some wadding and a magnetic snap, which is optional. Beautiful. She didn't put a magnetic in the one we did the other day. But you need to put the wadding in if you're going to quilt it. If you're just going to make it into a straightforward tote bag with no quilting, then you don't need the wadding either. Then we had the framed tote set. Oh! Where was it? It was hiding behind the desk. Hiding. Here it is. Look. So that one's got a little bit of wadding in it for the quilting. So this side is pieced. This side is pieced. That side is actually just off the panel. That's not pieced at all. And then all your linings and everything are there. And your handles. So that's just got a little bit of... It feels like H640 in this one. Feel rather than wadding. It feels like H640. 22.99. Cute, isn't it? It's lovely. Have we got it? H640, one metre piece here. 999. Now remember, it costs 5.99 for half a metre, this. So you're actually saving money by buying the metre piece. Nine ninety nine. Why? Just tell me what's happened. No, the green one. Unless they've had more green ones printed. And how many have they got tomorrow? Can you tell? It was cat tomorrow. It's producer cat tomorrow. Are 
It'd be in that hour, surely, because I'm not going to get hold. Oh, I wonder if that's arrived. Anyway, 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 we'll check, we'll check, we'll check, we'll check. We think, Kat thinks that the green version is in tomorrow's show. But we can't see where in tomorrow's show. It, we thought we sold out the green one. So unless they had more printed and not told me, but um, we don't know where in the, the green one's lined up for tomorrow, apparently. Anyway, uh, that, so this tote bag here, I haven't shown you the tote bag, have I? This is the equivalent of this one here, but it's in the, um, this colourway, the brown colourway. This is a huge panel, this one. Look. 19.99. Look at the size of this panel. This is a 24.99 panel. Beautiful. Now they called it charcoal. I suppose there is some charcoal in there. I'd call that more the tan colour, wouldn't you? So let me just have a look. Is that that one? Oh, it is this one. It is this one. Because the tan's inside. Oh, is it? Or oh, is that a cushion that's inside? Oh, yeah, there's the tan inside. Look. And the straps with the um, tape measure straps on there. My soul is fed with wool and thread. And happiness is handmade. Do you get the instructions as well? For 19 that's ridiculous. Lovely. At 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right, so the green bag, if you want the, the Amber Makes Green one, it's in tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. There we go, there we go, there we go. Right, now I've got a Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie bag. Lyon, Lyon. Oh, she's just been to Lyon. She'd just been to Lyon, so this one must have been done. I think she only did this a day or so ago, didn't she? No, I'm Billy Knight. I just I remember, I think it was Monday with Brecker Reed, wasn't it? Oh, it's last week with, oh, no, that's right. She was in last week with Vicky Carroll, Vicky, Vix. That, I never think it was Vix Carroll. Oh, and it's what's name's birthday today, isn't it? Maisie's birthday today. She's three. Three years old, Maisie, today. So you got the instructions. Uh, so in here, now obviously it's not this one, it's your William Morris, so you've got your cotton canvas, willow bow, you've got your cotton canvas in the grey, and you've got your, de that unusual mix, denim in your blue. 29.99, what day was this? It was 30th, did you say? Beautiful, these instructions, I mean I'm going to open this one. Oh, no, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. They're really, really fantastic instructions. You even get a sheet of paper, so when you cut your bits out, you can pin it to your paper so you know which bit each one is. They're incredibly, incredibly thorough. You will need some handles, which I've got coming up in, a, well, stitch-on handles. I've got a red one. Just let me see what those red ones would look like with this. There you see. Oh. See, they worked for me. They work. They don't come with it. I'm just saying they're the only sew-on handles I've got. Yeah, they sold. They sold out in pre-order. I've got some. Oh, oh no, no, I won't use those on that. Right, yo, yeah, that's that one. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> I'll do the handles next. If you would like the handles to go with, these are the only sew-on handles I've got. Mine. Everybody talks like Nana Kate now. Everyone, whenever we do wine, everyone says it like Nana Kate. It's only because Julie was staying with Nana Kate's sister, Anne, last week, and she's the same now. Wine! But she's French. 8 99 Beautiful. They're faux, aren't they, those? Uh, oh, yeah, faux leather, faux leather, faux leather, yeah, faux leather. Beautiful. A bag chain. I've got one bag chain here. Gold, £3.49. That's one metre 20 long. That's a long strap, long chain. Beautiful. 
£3.49 includes easy to attach clips on either end. Lovely. So, next. Oh, hang on. You know I did the frame tote bag? Oh, no. Sorry. I didn't put it away. That's right. <laughs> yep. Emma Brassfield. Uh, now, there's no fabric. This is just the pattern. But I say just the pattern. Look at all this um, beautiful rainbow hardware in there. So you get the zip and the zip top. You get a, lobs, um, a swivel clasp. You get D-rings. You get magnetic. And you get the uh, slider. And you make it... Now, where's the picture of it? You make, there you go, you're making the unicorn bag there. 29.99. Beautiful. Beautiful. She's got the same history as me costumes, Emma. Uh, Studio 77 is where you can find her. Next, Lisa Lamb. Now I've got Ashley and I've got Palmer. That doesn't, is that enough for Palmer? It looks very small. Anyway, here's Ashley, first of all, in the blue. You get everything you need. Saddle stitching, saddle stitching. And everything is in there that you need. The thread, the needles, the pieces, they're all, it's all, pe it's all um, vegan. You hand sew the whole thing. Get the zip in there and everything. $44.99. They're a bit addictive, the saddle stitching ones. If you've never seen before, what date was that one done on, please? Twenty first of May last year. Twenty first of May last year. This one's saddle stitch. The other one I've got is whip stitch. Lovely. That's Ashley in blue. Then we've got Palmer in white. Here you go. This one is whip stitch. This is not saddle stitch, this one. So you get all the hardware, the chain, the thonging to stitch it with, the clasp, the little strap. I'm not sure where that goes, actually. Oh, I know. It, it doesn't that attach to the chain. That's where your chain gets attached to. Is that right? Am I right? Hang on, let's check. Oh, here you go. That, oh, no, hang on, what's this? Oh, there, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the chain goes on it. But I'm not sure how it attaches to your bag. Well, it's just the chain down either side. Is it what? Chain. Chain. Oh, I see, and you put the chain on either. So, so there must be two chains in there, then. Let's have a look. Have a look. Lisa Lamb, are you watching? Can you help me here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, there it is. You must get two chains, look. And it's on your shoulder, so your chain's not digging into your shoulder. Oh, sorry. There. It's because I keep moving from this. I need to sit with this bar between my legs here. Yeah, there's a bar right in the way. So if I just sit here, I'll be fine. Right, Joe? Not a bar with drinks. I mean, a bar that, that holds the table up. There we go. Thank you. Shall I do those two uh, handles? Then that's everything done on that side of the table, then. Oh, oh. Black one. Faux leather handle. Soft. It's like a plaited one. Not David Platt. I haven't watched Coronation Street for years. Is he still in it? I bet he's not Platt anymore, either, is he? Oh, no, he'll always be a plat, wouldn't he? 8 99 Cord handle. 48 centimetres. Did you work at Grenard Debris Lifetime? How funny, because I used to do Grenard Debris Lifetime in the building behind Coronation Street. Yeah. There you go. I used to do Thursdays, I think it was. It was Carl Wilde and Becky Want were the presenters. And it was, they used to do Pets on Monday, something else on Tuesday. And it was Fashion and Beauty on a Thursday. And it was me, Nadine, uh, hairdresser Ariane was there. Lots of hairdressers there. Anyway, 8 99 
Well, you did you work with Flash? And Debbie, Debbie King. Do you mean Debbie King? Debbie King, who's now married to one of the singers from that. Right, let's do some PUs then. Flash always wears orange underpants. Right. He's in a band, Jay. He's like, uh, he's like, works on, I don't know what he does now. He doesn't do cruise ships, does he? No, he was, he was a camera, he was like camera on like shopping telly and quiz telly and everything like that. But in the, in the, he had long, long shaggy blonde hair and black nails and everything. He used to sing heavy rock music or whatever. I don't know what happened to him. I don't think he'd be on a cruise line now, would really. he? Anyway, look at all these gorgeous PUs. These are Ben's favourites. I was going to say brown. Right, pink first. It's a very, very soft pink, this one. Really gorgeous. A vegan PU, polyester PU. 30% viscose, 40% PU, and 30% polyester in pink. Beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then I've got brown, dark brown. That's a lovely colour, chocolate, that one. Now, we had chocolate earlier, and we went, oh, we just, this is chocolate. Oh, dark brown. <laughs> but no, but I'd say, if, to me, that's a bar of chocolate. Um, the one Alex, my niece, sent me, is a Madagascar, it must be vanilla, it's Madagascan 80% chocolate. I haven't opened it yet. It's on the side, waiting for me when I get home. Oh, it could, no, because Alex is completely vegan. Like, properly, properly vegan. Oh, no, it's really gorgeous. And she makes the most incredible Christmas dinner. She made gorgeous things at Christmas dinner for us. Anyway, elephant. <laughs> Grey. She's proper, proper vegan. Um, her boyfriend only eats... His boyfriend uh, at Raz is gluten free, but he eats meat and fish. Because they just moved to a new flat and he cooked some fish and smelt the whole flat out. Navy blue, she was livid. Navy blue. She and I are going climbing over the O2 soon. You know, that was my Christmas present from me. You know, the O2 thing. The dome. We're going climbing over the O dome. And it's really weird because when I did one of the Bond films, the dome was quite new, and the whole thing was James Bond f jumped out of a helicopter and slid down the side of the dome. So we filmed there, and then at Pinewood, we rebuilt part of the dome. I won't be doing that. I'm not allowed to do that. Beautiful, navy. Then I've got a bright red. Rich red, this one. Was it? Oh, Yeah. Seven ninety nine. I wasn't on set looking after people all the time because obviously I was planning and fitting and everything like that. But I was on set every day. I'd go on the set every day, do my royal visit. Or if there was a really good stunt going on, I'd go down and watch that. Beautiful. When I did uh, GoldenEye at Leavesden Studios, my office looked out onto the front. The whole wardrobe department turned off my office, looked out onto the front, and they rebuilt the streets of Russia out on the street. So I watched a tank for days being driven round and everything, doing the tank chase and everything. Beautiful. That's lovely. A mustard one, that one. It's here, Kat. Seven ninety nine. Beautiful. Now, oh no, I've got cream or ivory. I'm not sure which one it'll be called. Ivory. Seven ninety nine for half a meter. Beautiful. Now I've got three metallics. Beautiful, beautiful metallics. I've got a dark gold. Oh, it might not be called dark gold, actually. Copper. I thought you said chopper. I was like, What's a, what colour's chopper? Copper. There used to be a truck driver who used to drive the film trucks called chopper. 
No, he used to drive the, um, the honey wagon. Seven ninety nine. He was terrifying. Until you got to know him. Yeah, so when you knew on set and everything, yeah. Then I've got a soft gold. Oh, that's beautiful. Seven ninety nine. Because you've got the black viscose and polyester lining there. Lovely. And last but not least, I've got silver. Oh, that's nice. Oh, unusual co choice of colour background for that one. It's like a pistachio. Seven ninety-nine, half a metre. Thirty percent viscose, forty percent PU, and thirty percent polyester. Now I've got three uh, waddings here. So the first one, oh, I've got Thermalan for some reason. So you want to, uh, none, of my, none, of, none of the projects today are for keeping things warm or cold, though. But if you want it, compressed fleece, you get a meter. It's already cut. Already cut the meter, that one. I have 99. Oh, message. That O2 climb is fabulous, John. Did it with my daughter. Glass of bubbly at the top. Amazing. Enjoy yourselves from Claire. I don't, uh, she drinks. Yeah, she drinks. I don't drink. I had, to think that, I had to think then if she still drank or not, but she does drink, yeah. <clears throat> then I've got Bozel now sewing. Which other one? Okay, so the, in the last hour, we had one-sided Bozel, one-sided fu fusible. This is the sewing, so no, no fusible at all. Twelve ninety nine for half a metre. So if you want the... Uh, one si single-sided fusible, go to the last hour, because we had that in Delphine's last hour. This is the sew-in, so there's no fusible at all. Then, uh, now this is double, very, ve sorry, cut the bag, this one's just shot over the front. Uh, very seldom does this one get used. This is the double-sided. Uh, well, what it is, is because if it's double-sided, you iron on this side, that's going to stick to what, so you've got to have both the fabrics ready to press at the same time. <laughs> Thirteen ninety-nine for half a metre. Oh, now. Oh, yeah, half a metre, half a metre, yeah, half a metre. Now, it's called white. It's definitely not white. It's yellow, that. Massage. Morning. How can you get rid of the creases in the PU? Marilyn, what happens is, is when you press it onto the fabric, the creases will go. Or you just hang it, I suppose. But don't pr you can press the, um, press the non fuse one easily. Make sure you put cloths between it and everything. Don't just press straight onto it. But when you press these ones onto the fabric, the creases will go. Oh, sorry, did it say PU? Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. Sorry, so it's the actual PU. Right, you can iron the wrong side of PU. So, yeah, you can iron this side of PU because it's viscose and polyester. Don't use a hot iron. Or if you, what you, the other thing you can do is if you get your iron and you iron the uh, ironing board to make the ironing board warm, put the iron to one side and then put this down and stretch it out like this. That will get rid of your creases. You see, it's doing it now with the warmth of my hand on. But if you've warmed your ironing board, uh, then you can get rid of your creases from, P, from your PU. Sorry, I, I read the wrong thing. I thought you said the um, thing. Right, we're going for a break now. Uh, we'll be back in four minutes with... De oh, the quilt. Beautiful Bargello quilt. Now, you are not going to be paying £199 for that. It's a beautiful William Morris Bargello. They've made a few fabric changes, which I'll tell you about when we come back. But it's still beautiful. And it's on five-way split pay. I'll see you in four from now. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.SewingStreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street.
back and we've got the most gorgeous William Morris quilt. It's a Bargello. Now, we've not seen a proper Bargello for ages and ages, have we? Good old traditional Bargello there using beautiful William Morris fabrics. OK, now you've seen it on pre-order all morning at £199. Now it's on five-way split pay. Five-way split pay. So at the moment, it's £40 a month, isn't it? £200. Yeah, £40 a month at the moment. <clears throat> you are not going to be paying £199.99. Now, would you like to see what you're getting first or do you want to get the crash in first? Let's do the crash straight away then. So you know. So, so all of those of you who checked out, several of you checked out already. In fact, how many have I got, did you say, in total? OK, then. So 10% of the stock has gone already and you will not be paying £199.99. You will pay the final low price. We're going to go straight down, straight down, no messing, no messing, ooh, ooh, ooh. 159 159 now that's really, 159 should be on three-way split pay now, you see. 31 99 a month. A brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So here it is. This is the box you'll get, right? Now, I just need to explain something. When they made that one... They use different fabrics, slightly different fabrics. The overall effect will be the same. But if you look on mine here, you see there's a Michaelmas daisy around the outside. And the one that Delphine's got hanging behind her has got a large floral hanging behind him. And then if you see here, we've got a lovely grey tone in there. And on the one behind Delphine, there's a purple, right? So there are the differences. So yours will look like this. And as you see Delphine's... I mean, obviously Delphine's not going to make the whole thing in the hour, but as you see Delphine's come together, you'll see where the colour changes are. And I'll just show you now when we open this up. Oh, now, funny is this? Because we had this open once already, so there you go. Right. So, instructions. Now, it says intermediate. I think it's only straight lines. There's no half-square triangles, there's no curves, there's no nothing... I think they've put that because you have to concentrate. You've got to label and you've, you've got to be organised with it. Don't you, Delphine? Yes, even I've had to be organised. Yeah, she's done, she came in this morning going, I've had done labels and I've done clips and I've done everything. Won't be up to Susie's standard of clipping, though, will it? Oh. She's got the labels on the clips and everything. No, as in she prints up oh, no, the thing and sticks it. But she's, <laughs> very, she's a very over-impressed with herself today. Oh, yeah. Right, so here are all your fabrics. Now, these are right. This is correct. These are the fabrics you're getting. And then, of course, you've got all your cutting instructions and how you put a Bargello together. And this is why you, it's not difficult. I can do a Bargello. It's not difficult. You just have to get your head right. You can't have a moment when you're just daydreaming away about something else because you've got to remember because you need a quick unpick because there'll be loads of unpicking. While you may, oh, you see, they're flying out. They're flying out. Um, you do need, I mean, that, right, let me explain. Uh, Delphine's going to explain how you put it together, but there's a lot of sewing together and then you unpick. Yeah. Sewing together and then you unpick. So you just have to keep your breath. I did one of these on air with Jane Alcock and she let me do the unpicking and I got it completely wrong because I was <laughs> doing my usual, oh, I know, between two and three, between three and four, got it completely wrong. But it's, I can do a Bargello. Right. So, that's, so then that's how you put it together, you see. So you make these strips and then you put it together to create that shape. And then you put your borders on. OK, so here's the gorgeous fabric. Here's the good... So remember I said the mauve, that we don't get the mauve. This is the beautiful bluey, chalky grey that you get instead of the mauve. Then you've got bramble... Then you've got your lovely uh, willow bow. Oh, no, that one's not willow bow. I don't think that one is it. Then you've got your beautiful. Oh, look at these! They're just typical William Morris. Then you have got because I love it when they mix all the different sizes of prints. I think this. I love this. You've got this in a couple of colourways. Look, there's one colourway. There's the brownie colourway. Then you've got this gorgeous indigo. Then now you've got two pieces of this. One is for in the quilt. And one is for your binding. Yeah, could you just chuck it in cold, cold, not cold water, hot water for me? Oh, Laura's up there. Right, then this is your background. That's your background there. Beautiful. There's your Michaelmas Daisy. So that now 
is in your quilt, but it's also the border now, the wide border around the edge. So for 159.99, five-way split pay, that's what you'll be making. Where's the finish? Where's the finish size? This will be in the graphics, won't it? Two meters, blimey, it's two meters long by a meter and three quarters wide. A bit bigger than a metre and three quarters. What's that in inches then? So two metres is 80 inches, isn't it? Just, Ben's just sorting it out now. 71 inches wide by 80 in inches long. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Because uh, of the original price. Uh, it was, oh, I don't know. Should that, the maximum should be on four-way split pay this. But anyway, take advantage, take advantage, take advantage. You're paying a five-way split pay. So, well, it's all your fabric, all your instructions. Now, it's just straight line sewing. Do not be panicking that you've got curves or you've got biases or you've got anything like that. It's straight sewing, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so when you've all checked out, there's only 18 left. There's 18 left when you've checked out now. Right, now it's working on a fruit and vegetable, that's how I can do that. Right, so Delphine, yeah. where, did, did you sit down with a cup of tea and read all of this first before you even got your fabric out? Yeah, I just had, well, oh no, I always get the fabric out first. Oh, do you? Yeah, uh, but no, I just, I just went through the, base, the, the, the steps of everything and then I was like, right, yeah, simple. It okay. Is. So if you've not, they, 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 I mean, saying an intermediate, uh, you could do this. If, as long as you can sew a straight line, mm. you can definitely do this quilt. Yeah. So right. it's really, so you, like you said, just be organised. So yes. what I did, um, everything, you cut the fabric, everything's on the width of fabric. Right. So really, really simple. And all the pieces are cut in the same way. So all you need to think of for the step one of this uh, quilt kit is, is, all the strips are exactly the same size and you sew them together on the width of fabric. Okay, so at the moment you've got like 12 inch strips there, but you've actually got 44 inch. Yeah. So you get, you've got doing width of fabric, so it's for 44 inches, your strips will be 44 inches yeah. long. Right, first question, before we get any further, you've got, a, how many of them are sewn together? This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, how did you sew them together? So I sew them together in pairs. Yes. Yeah, so don't do. sew them all the same way. Yes. Yeah, so you do one and two together. Yeah. Put it to one side. Three and four together. Put it to one side. Then the one, two, and three, four go together yeah. like that. Because yeah. that will stop you bananaing. That stop. Because what happens is if you try and do, I never do this. No. Right? Never. And that comes from being a dressmaker as well. Because you never, when you do a skirt, you don't do one up, one down. I do them all in the same direction. But do one and two together. Leave it. Do three and four together, leave it, and then put them together like that. That way you won't get banana Because if you try and sew them all together, the whole thing, I don't know how it does it, no, but it's sl slowly bananas. And you don't want that because you want it to stay straight. Right, okay. So, so you need to do two blocks. Right. You need to do block A, which is eight, and then block B, which is seven. So the only difference is, is block A is that you use um, this top and bottom fabric is the, exactly the same. Right. So you just need to follow the, the guide. And that's what's going to be confusing as well, because it's not like they're completely different, because you're using the same fabrics, aren't yeah. you? you just kind of got to be careful that you always pick up the right one. The right one. That's what I... So, again, I just numbered my fabric. So, for example, it shows you here on the instructions. I don't, uh, Hang on, just there you go, coming over to you now. So these are all the pictures of your fabric, so they're all labelled A to L. Yeah. And here is your guide... This is strip set A and strip set B, which I've got in front of me here. Yeah. So you need to do two of strip set A and yeah. two of strip set B. Now, this is really, really important bit that you need to do. You need to press one lot of your seams down and the other lot of your seams up. And so you do one set A with the uh, uh, strips where you've pressed your seams down and the other one press your seams up, only because when oh, you come to yeah. sew them together. But... It's, it's just going to help you out loads along the way. So, for example, let me just show you on the back. So this is where you need a nice, good hot iron. So, as you can see, I've got two, stri um, two uh, strips A here, and you can see that I've done exactly that. So, no seams down and no seams up. And so, you make sure you know which one is which. I use a scrap of fabric, and I've just put A up and then... A down. Brilliant. So you need to do that for both 
the A and the B. So this is just an easy way for me to pick it up. Otherwise, I'm picking it up and I'm looking at the back and you can get it wrong. So just label your... your and also, in. you're a... I mean, you sit the making quilts, but you're a working mum. So you've got kids coming in going, is tea ready? You've got yeah. husband saying, you know what? So it, you, you're not always going to remember, no. oh, that I can remember that day or that's whatever. You, it's important because you're not going to do it in one sitting you're no, not going to sit no. and make this quilt in one go so it's just important to be organized but even just things like that just remembering to press your seat it tells you anyway yeah 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 it even it tells you make sure you press one set down one set up but that's what it means by that i know i, I know it's um, very basic stuff but i'm just telling you right from the beginning. no 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 if it makes your life easier then do it so and i also recommend that you do one strip at a time so uh, don't go straight in cutting out all of these exactly the right. way you want to yeah. do it. Just, just if if I was you, I'd go straight to this section here on the instructions. Going to just doing your strip sets first. Don't worry about all of that until yeah. later. Um, so yeah, just concentrate on on those bits there. So then you're going to subcut. Right. Can I ask? Are all the strips the same width? At this point? At this point, yes. Yes. So you, they're all, I don't know, it looks like three inches. Four inches. Four inches, right? Four, so you've sewn four inch strips together using yeah. a quarter inch seam allowance. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Right. And I've pressed it. That's okay. it. That's how basic it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then all you need then is I recommend you have a good long ruler and you obviously you wrote a nice sharp rotary cutter because you're going to be sub cutting these fabrics, these uh, strip sets into different widths. Right. So which I've got here. So I'll go straight on to row number three because I've done rows one and two already. So to come to the rows, this is where it shows you here. So row three, I know, consists of fabric A, which is three by 11 inches, strip set A, fabric A, and then it tells you um, the length of that. So basically, strip three, is made up of one, two, three, four pieces. Right. That's it. Oh, so it's slightly different, Bargella. Yeah, they, it's not a tube. Because <coughs> I always yeah. make mine and make a tube, sew it together, yeah. then cut, because then you don't need such a long ruler, because you're only cutting, but yeah. they, okay. So yeah, you've so got your just, strips, and then, so just show us that bit again, so you know that. So it tells you here exactly what you need. Right. So fabric A, because well, this is what I mean about don't be doing all of this bit now. Yeah. Do Because otherwise you're just going to lose all your pieces and confuse yourself. You're going to be measuring it as you go yeah. along. So fabric three. So I just need one fabric A piece, which measures three by 11 inches. Yeah. One strip set A, which is this bit here. Yeah. Sorry, I'll bring that into shot. Okay. And then one fabric A, which is this cream piece cream, here. Cream, yeah. And one fabric B, which is this bit here. So basically, you're, you're taking... One of those strips that you've sewn together, sandwich it between two cream bits and adding one of the other one That's at the end. That's literally what I'm going to do. Right. Which, so these are my pieces. So these are the ones I've pre-cut out already. So There's five left once you've all checked out. Five left. So it's going to, those are all the pieces I need. So I've got two, of those are my fabric A pieces. Yeah. And then you've got my B and my A. My A right. and B. So, and all I'm going to do now is sew them into one big strip. Right, hang on then, Sec. Hang on, do that. Before you do that, though, mm -hmm. how have you got those squares from these long strips? So, I... Sorry, I know, so I'm, I'm, I know I'm asking I'll basic questions, but if somebody's not done it before... I will do that now. So, you've done, all those, you've done all your strips like that, and they're yeah. all four-inch strips sewn together in the order yeah. which you've been told. But now you have to cut them into strips going down the fabric don't yes. you yes right so what we'll do I'll, in fact i'll cut a set out so we can, it's all right yeah yeah so i've already prepared yeah five rows so we'll go to row six right so you go along this side here so from strip set a because i've seen row six is here yeah so from strip set, set a oh, it's a lot to say uh i need one and three quarters of 28 by half, 28 and a half inches. Don't worry about that last bit because you already know that that measures 28 yeah. and a half. So row six, one and three quarters. And it even tells you which set uh, to use. So on this one, it says from the strip set A that is pressed down. Upwards. So straight away, I'm going to go to my A, D. Right. So I've already labelled it A, D. So I'm going to go straight to this set. 
And I know it wants me to cut it one and three quarters. I'm losing Are you doing number six? Yeah. Okay. So Because each strip is going to be a different width, isn't it? Each one's a different width. Yeah. So I'm going to line up one and three quarters. There we go. And then you're just going to make sure it's squared up. This is where you need that nice long ruler comes in handy. Yeah. There we go. Brilliant. So that's one strip. And I'll pop that aside. Then, also in row six, for my set B, again, I need another one and three quarters by the 25, and that one's, it's pressed upwards. So then I'll just go to my BU piece. Uh-huh. Which is not that one. Oh, it's laid before enough. Yeah, so that's my B, BD. So I'll take my BU piece, and then again, I will cut this to one and three quarters. So I line up along that edge and you can also make sure that it's nice and square because you can line up the, the, uh, the black lines on the seams so you know it's perfectly yeah. straight and in line. And then that's that strip there. So that, yeah, creaking I, I door. Did, then yeah. the door didn't move. It sounded move. really creepy. No, no, the door definitely creaked. Like, but the door didn't move. I was waiting to see someone come in. Right, okay. So those, that's so that's how you subcut. So Perfect. Make sure two things to remember. <laughs> Let's do it again. So the two things to remember is when you line it up, make sure that you line up dead straight along your uh, outside line. Yeah. And then by using these, uh, the black lines on your ruler over the seams, you know it's going to be a perfect straight line. Yeah. So again, I know I'm keeping it simple, but it's just... No, 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 no. That's the best way to do it. So I'm just going to move these out of the way so I don't... Because I'm very proud of my organisation mm -hmm. skills today. Well, yeah, yeah. If you, were, if you were thinking, who should we give a quilt kit to that you need to be really, really organised? No offence, I wouldn't give it to you. No. <laughs> I just wing it out all the time. Well, no, no, because he's normally, oh, just bung this here, bung that there. But <laughs> this is good because you have to be organised with a budget. I know. I think they're training me upstairs, you yeah. see. I, they, even they laughed when I said I was organised and put labels on. Uh, uh. So, so I, don't, I, I don't know what you're laughing for. It's not advanced at all. It's not advanced at all. It says intermediate. As long as you can sew a straight line, you can make this. All you have to do is be able to read instructions and follow instructions. OK, so... Back to these pieces, so I've got my A piece, which will always be longer. Yeah. My B piece. And my two little white pieces. Okay. So this is where all you do is follow this. Yeah. So obviously I need this piece first, because it's telling me there. And then I need my strip A piece, which I know is this one. And, and, and what you mustn't do is get the wrong way round. No. So you need to make sure, so either use the, the picture on the front of the quilt or it's even got the colour code for you on here. Yeah. And if you're not sure what all those squares are, it tells you what fabrics are yeah. there. So I'm going to sew now my first A piece right sides together. Just making sure I've put that on right, yeah. And again, I'm not pinning anything. I'm not clipping. Well, you're only you're, the biggest seam you're going to be doing is a four-inch seam, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that piece, and I know it's then followed by this piece here. And then it's followed by the last piece here. Okay. 
and then that's one strip done. Okay. Then what do you do with the seams that you've just sewn? I'm you just follow the because all of you see all of your seams now be facing in the same direction. Do you just do those three seams in yeah. the same direction? Yeah. So I've just literally done exactly that. I'm just sewing, uh, pressing them the same way as all the others. And now these seams will be opposite to the other, the row that I've already sewn. So again, you don't need to clip, you don't need to pin, you just uh, sew it on. So do it as you go, I recommend. So I'm gonna now add it to this piece that I've already done. So you've got rows one and two already on there. Yeah, and now I'm gonna sew row three. And as you can see, you're already creating the Bargello look because you, your cream ones are slightly shorter getting shorter, and then your Michaelmas Daisy ones are going up in step, your Indigo Acorns are going up in step, your Brown Willow Boughs are going up in step. So you can yeah. see at this point, if you've made a mistake, you'll see it now you'll see it before you've away. sewn it. When you put it down the table, you'll see it straight away. So I'm now, if I can, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on the camera, but I know, because obviously this, I've, I've cut it all accurately, but now we've, my seams are in opposite directions. Yeah. So I know that when I touch it, as it's going through the machine, it's going to buddy up perfectly. So you don't pin or clip any of this then? No, I don't. Right. But if no, you're a beginner, <laughs> I'd say, you, you, or if you really, really, really are, are so uh, determined to get your seams to match, then do pin it if you're, if you're a first time, I'd pin say. Pin it the seams, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to sew this one on. Okay, too many people got it in the baskets now. You need to check out if you definitely want it. How many are actually physically left? Okay, I'll tell you now. 27 haven't checked out, but 29 people have got it in their baskets. And, and it's, they go 30 now. So if, if you want it, you do need to check out. It is a traditional, gorgeous, big, traditional crop. look. I've got a Bargello on my bed, on my, on my bed. When, when, I, when I want it to look nice, I have, at the moment it's in the studio at Threads of Life, but I normally have a Bargello, a blue, yellow and gold Bargello quilt on my bed. And, and I've, got a, a, I've got a blue, yeah, sorry, that's a log cabin, the blue, yellow and gold. The Bargello is a multicoloured one that Jane made for me, which is also on the set. Go up. OK, five people are going to miss out now. More people keep putting it in their baskets and other people keep checking out. So be, please be careful. I think you're not just buying a quilt, you buy, you're buying into this technique. And once you understand yeah. this technique, you can start doing even your Well, the thing is, once you've got this pattern, you could replace all those fabrics with, like, rainbow mm -hmm. colours. You see, mine has got where the cream on yours. I've got navy blue where my, on the oh, cream. Lovely. And then all of that is rainbow going back, you know, kind of a complete rainbow. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that's where these quilt kits really hold their value of learning a technique mm. as well as just having beautiful fabric. So I'm just stopping at every seam and I'm just putting my finger on it so it's nice and flat. And already, even though it's a long strip, these seams are perfectly matched. Simply in just the, that preparation of ironing everything that one way and being organised. Mm -hmm. And then I can go fast here because there's no seams to match up. Uh, morning, Sir Cheryl. I love making my rainbow Bargello quilt. I must attempt another one soon. Heading to Aberdeen to see Strictly's Giovanni for an earth early birthday lunch. You're going to have lunch with Giovanni. <laughs> That'd be nice, Cheryl. Uh, ten people are going to miss out now. Ten people are going to miss out if you don't check out. Nearly 
really at the end. That's right, don't we? You've got over half an hour. Doing a regular quarter inch seam. Yeah, quarter inch seam throughout. Yeah. And there we go. That's now all sewn together. Already looking lovely. One thing I did forget to point out. Oh yes. Is that in steps? Because you might think that's a whole length of a B. Yeah. But obviously these are shorter, so that's where it does, it tells you on every single one. Because haven't, I haven't got one pick anything for a while. Yeah, um, but soon you will. But in uh, when it comes to... Which one was it? Here it says discard. It, yeah, so it says... So on row one, unsew fab between fabrics F and G at the bottom. Discard fabrics G and H. Right. So... What happens is they get added on anywhere else. No. They, so basically, once you've finished it, you'll have lots of squares. Yeah. You make a cushion cover to go with. Yeah. Yeah, I've loads. And because the way you cut them off, you can just join them all together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so that's row three done. So right. as you can now, see, uh, um, how would you press that then? I think I pressed it just to one side. I just pressed it to one side. So it doesn't, because it doesn't matter, you're not going to match anything else. No. So it doesn't matter which way it goes. So that's that one. So shall I make another one? Uh, yes, please. And then from here, because we've used the whole... Well, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Oh, did you panic then? I did. <laughs> I did panic then. Right, so now we're going on to number four. Which is this one. So number four, it wants me to have a fabric A piece, which is, I've got two of those. So I need two of those. I've got my fabric A strip. Are they the fabric. same length, you two fabriques? They, those are in in in, this in that one. In this section. But they're not all was the same. No. So but yeah. And then those. But additionally, it wants me to have a fabric I that measures two and a quarter by four. So I'm just Oh, okay. So you're putting in an additional piece. Yeah. Oh. Which there's my box. I'll be back. Thank you. you not cut that one out? I did, but I've did it for a different one. Okay. I've. Uh... So where, so in what row are we on? Four. Yeah. So you need uh, fabric A to start with, strip set A, then fabric A again, then strip set B. So where is it asking to add a different one in? Underneath, number four. Um, uh, on this one or on this one? On this one. This one here. So row four, I've got fabric A two and a quarter by seven and a half. That's your white, isn't it? Your cream. Yeah. Then strip set A. Oh, yeah, plus fabric A, two and a half by seven and a half. Then strip set B, then fabric one again. Fabric I, sorry. Oh, I see. I see. This is why you need to read it. This is why you need to read it properly, first of all. So fabric A, strip set A, fabric A, strip set B, then fabric I at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut my fabric I piece. And that wants me to have it measured at two and a quarter by four inches. This is why I recommend yeah. you doing it as you go, because all your fabric pieces are going to be different sizes. Yeah, and also they're quite close yes. in size, so you might accidentally pick up the wrong one. Yeah. So if you cut it just as you sew it, then that's a good idea. Yeah. And what did I say it was? Two you and a said, quarter by uh, four. Two and a quarter by four. And then I'll keep that because I know I'll use that somewhere else. So I'll just put that over there. Okay. So now let's piece this one together. So first I'm going to need a fabric A. And strip set, strip a. set A. Then okay. fabric A. Then strip set B. And then fabric I. Yeah. So is fabric I that grey one? Then? Yeah. Which is the replacement of... Yes, 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 yeah. Okay. 
And then my next fabric A. Does Is fabric I not in your original strips then? You know, you know when you do strips at A and strips at no. B? So fabric I hasn't been touched at that. No, point. this is a new fabric. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's what was confusing me. So basically fabric I you don't put into your strip sets and then it just gets added on where it needs to be added on. So I'm presuming later on we'll have fabric I, J okay. and K as you go further along. I've got yeah. it now. Because I would not, you see, normally on a Bargello, <clears throat> I would sew all my fabrics together and put them in a loop. Then you cut them off to the two and a half, one and a half, three and a half, whatever they want them to be. And then they say, unpick between one and two, unpick between three and four. Unpick. So you move it up that way. This is just doing it. You're making the strips. You're never doing the, the tube. You're making the strips as you go along. Yeah. But because that fabric eye only appears in kind of the middle apex of the point, then you only add it on when you come to it on the strip. Yeah, and even the, um, the unpicking uh, on this, there's, there's hardly any, there's not yeah, much no, unpicking. No. I mean, just from looking at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's about maybe 12. Yeah, and doing it this way also saves you fabric because if you think if you had, if they had put fabric eye into the strip sets, you'd be discarding it on nearly every single strip mm. apart from one, two, three, four, five, six strips, you'd be discarding it. So it's saving you fabric. So obviously this is being pressed in the, the opposite way. Yeah. And now that's oh. done. That's ready to... Um... 15 people are going to miss out if you're not careful. 15 people, too many in baskets now. I really enjoy the process of this, though. Mm. I like it being structured and not too, um, you know, just the way I usually am. You know, I'll just chuck it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't do that on this. No. It won't work if you do this. So then now, it's just so satisfying. When yeah, I yeah, yeah. It on, then it's like, it fits. That's Ben's favourite word at the moment. Satisfying. Is it? Yeah, when we had the Gracie thing in, he kept moving it up and down going, oh, that's satisfying. And then the next day we cut something, oh, that's satisfying. So now I'm going to sew this strip on. Actually, this is a much tidier way of doing a bargello than mm. my way, than doing the tube and then unpicking every... Because you've got to unpick on every single row when you do it my way. Yeah, this is a nice way of, of, of doing it. I like yeah. the structure of it. It's a good pattern, very good pattern. Yeah. In my foot caught. No, you're right. So I just tend to hold on where I want that first point to meet. There we go. And then it will line up for me. I'm just, tr I'm just doing it, keep it on the table because it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fabric, so I don't want it to be weighted down. If you've got a photo of your uh, um, Bargello, send it in, email it in. <clears throat> to just see different, how, could, because once you've got the pattern, we can give us inspirations on the colours you've used and things like that. Your email address is studio at, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Send in your pictures of your bars yellows. We love to see them. I'm actually doing lots of sewing today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like me. No. <laughs> no, just stick in. I mean, you just stick in, peeling and stick in. And then try and keep your seams nice and flat. So 
I just tuck it in with my finger. And then my next one's knocked it all the way down here. Mm -hmm. I need to give that a press. Cause that's who, who was that one from? Collector in time and weird. We won't have time to do that in this hour, but if you contact Delphine directly, she'll be able to help you with that. With something, uh, um, putting together the Amelia. Oh, pack. yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to uh, put tape on together and put it on Facebook. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. But as long as you follow the coloured lines... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, uh, when, when, after you told me in the last break, I had to look at it. And it's not difficult, but it is a bit... Because it's in the wrong order. I explained that they printed yeah. it in the wrong order. That, that it's just a bit, confu it is a bit confusing. Yeah, so it's just... Um, yeah, if you just trace over... Because you use your own paper, because obviously there's different templates on, on yeah. the lines. So... It would be good if you could put it on Facebook for everyone. That would be fantastic. Sorry, I'm concentrating today. No, no, it's good. I'm surprised you've got enough thread in the bobbin and everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't talk, speak too soon. Uh, uh, uh. I said I, I uh, thought I was built very well prepared today. Now so in that fabric eye, so it's the first time it's featured so far on this. Yep. And there we go. Gorgeous. They are brilliant because it's because uh, there's nothing more like saying satisfying it's to see satisfying. something coming together. Because I hate it when you work on something, work on something, you don't actually see it till the end. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this, you're going to see as you work your way but through. But look how look how neat it is. Yes. I'm proud of that. Lovely. Yeah. I did when, when I first started my Facebook lives. I did a bargello for the rainbow to do in your window for the um, oh, things. Yeah. So I did it for my dining room, and the, there was things going everywhere. Kind of so then you cut this, then you press this, and I'm just perched on the end of my dining table with my iPad in front of me. I think I remember when you did that. Is that the one where you said that you were cutting a piece and then going up and down the stairs ironing? What yeah, yeah, that was it. it. That's it. Because the ironing boards. Are, no, that one. I actually had to bring the ironing board downstairs. The Ukrainian one, which I didn't do a film of, was I was sewing it downstairs, and because it was all squares and half square triangles, then I was running upstairs, yeah. pressing it, then running back down, doing a half square triangle, going back upstairs. Good for the steps. While Delphine's doing that and doing the next room, I'll just go through the kit again so you know what you're getting. Oh, my way to me. 25 people are going to miss out now. 25 people are going to miss out. Remember, it's supposed to be 199.99. It's on five-way split pay, which is £32 a month or something like that, isn't it? Um, this is the instructions. Now, it says it's intermediate. If you can sew a straight line, uh, then you can make this. Because the actual quilt itself, before you come to the border, the longest you, you're going to sew 44 inch strips, first of all, from with, with the fabric. So your fabric is going to be very, very stable because you're cutting it on the warp and the weft. Or the, the weft yeah. uh, then you cut it out. Then you're sewing together and you're only sewing four inches and everything. It's just, then you sew the strips together, which is the length of the thing. Then you've got to do your binding. But if you can sew a straight line, then you can do the border. So then you're binding. Make sure you read. Make sure you read everything before you start cutting out. Make sure you follow these instructions. Then when you get over here, like Delphine's doing, do, what you do is you do these first of all. So you do your strip sets first, press them the way they tell you to do them. So did you say it was two A's and one B? Two A's and two B's. Two, two A's and two B's. Press it the way they say. Then you cut it out and then you're adding your cream bits and your grey bits onto there. That's it. That's going to create the main uh, bit of the quilt. Now, if you hate doing borders, don't do a border. No, you, you could don't just have you to. could. It's a big enough quilt for you just to bind it mm. and sandwich it where the bargello ends, sort of thing. Uh, so these are the fabrics you get, and they're all listed in here. Everything's listed. 
They're your fabrics with the letters and then they give them all a code so that when you turn over here, without rather than them putting all the prints and everything, you can go, oh, which one's that blue one meant to be? Oh, it's meant to be K. You can easily, easily just do all that. Uh, so here's all your gorgeous fabric. Beautiful William Morris fabric, lovely quality, beautiful prints, all your lovely, what you'd expect from William Morris traditional. Um, and uh, like we said, you're getting that one instead of the mauve and you're getting the Michaelmas daisy instead of the big swirl around the back on. Well, the one, the picture that we're showing is correct. Uh, that's your background fabric. Now, look, they could have put a plain cream in, couldn't they? But no, they put that beautiful linen part. It's not linen, parchment there. Now, also, please be aware that you get two pieces of this, right? Don't start chopping this one up. But this is for your quilt. That's for your binding. Don't confuse them. Don't confuse them, right? So all of that, all of that, all of that. Ten left, and how many baskets? 41 people have got it in their basket. Wow. Ten left, so 31 of you will miss out. One what? Oh, yeah, it'll sell out today. Definitely, definitely sell out today. So there it all is, 159.99, five-way split pay, no interest charge. We don't charge you for using the interest-free, uh, the, the split pay. Don't ch there's no charge or anything like that at all. Uh, look at the size of it. It's 180, it's two metres long. Two metres long by 1.8 metres going across. And it's traditional, it's a traditional pattern, but it's also all the lovely traditional fabrics as well. Do you know what? The, and I don't mean to be um, gender what's it, because I know everybody can have what they like. I love florals, I love pinks and all that. But if you, it, it could be, I don't want to say androgynous, that's the wrong word, isn't it? But maybe you've got a son at university or you've got a son in a flat chair and thing and you want to make them a quilt, but you don't want to make them a pink floral one. It could, it, it's, it, it, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be non-specific because, you, you know, we're, we're gender friendly and everything like that. But a boy isn't going to be offended, a straight boy isn't going to be offended by that, is he? He's not going to think, oh, mum, why have you given me florals or anything like that? Beautiful, be well, hardly, you're not hardly typical, Ben. But you know what I mean? It's like, or even if you put it in a man's study, or man, you know, like if a man's got, a, if your husband or partner or whatever has got a room that he works in. Right, for example, right, Sussex Seamstress husband, he works from home in a very, very manly office sort of thing. You put this over the sofa, over a chair, if it's cold, it's, you know what I mean? It's just something that everybody's going to love. And it's not going to be like, oh, I couldn't make that for them because they don't like flowers or they don't like pink. It's traditional, traditional pattern and very, very traditional William Morris colours. That's all I'm trying to say. Right, Delphine, sorry. Oh, sorry for. No, I can see you. Uh, pl please be careful. Please be careful now because there are way too many people got it in their baskets. This is one quilt kit I would not want to miss out on. No. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Really enjoy doing this. And, and, I mean, this is me just thinking ahead, right? Once you've made it in your William Morris fabrics, right, you could then make it in any fabric that you wanted to. Uh, the heirloom quilt was the first and most satisfying quilt I've ever made. I love it. It also started me on my sewing street journey from Sylvia. Do you know what? Do you know what? In, you could make this out of Liberty fabrics. You can make this out of Tula Pink fabrics. You can make... Now, I don't know if we're getting the new Kaif fabrics, but Kaif has just launched his own... Uh, hang on, hang on. He's just launched his own William Morris fabrics coloured in with Kaif colours. Has he? Yeah. So it's, it's William Morris prints. Yeah. And he's coloured them in. Oh, wow. I'm presuming we'll get them because we get all the Kaif ranges, don't we? But he, they launched it. Brandon emailed... Um, not texted me. He put it on Facebook saying it was about, uh, it was all that EST, what, I don't understand, European something time, I don't know. I think they were in America. Eastern Standard Time. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And what's that for? Is that America? No, uh, it's, it, no it's just... It's just um... It was 5pm Eastern Standard Time, anyway, oh, okay. on one day. So it's literally about to be or has been launched. So it's William Morris, imagine William Morris Fabrics in cave colours in a Bargello like that. So this one is introducing yet another fabric. This is all now introducing Fabric J. Right, OK. So Fabric J is not in the strips either? No. Uh, it is. It's just a, a repeated. Oh, OK. Oh, no, no. Is it on the florals then? Yeah. Uh, it's... Oh, yeah, the willow bow, yeah. yeah. What's it called? Oh, Annette has sent in a picture of her Bargello. Let's get this for inspiration. Oh, look, like flames, that one, isn't it? Is that Annette Jasper? 
Oh, Annette Coles. Oh, lovely, Annette. That's beautiful. You see, that's the thing about Bargello. Depending on where you put your strips, you might, once you've done one, think, oh, I think I might do. You could move the strips in different orders and everything like that and create. You can get twisty ones. You can get ones that go across like that. They're fantastic. What's that one there? Karen. Look at that one. That's more that's subtle, beautiful. isn't it? That one, that's beautiful. Well, that's using uh, the barley pops, isn't it? 159.99. Beautiful. Uh, Sandra Santangle, she's made one as well. She said, why don't you Santangle on it? There we go. So that's the next piece. All ready to go. Oh, right. OK, this was a pretty quick jump. Two left. And how many in baskets? 14 baskets, two left. Two left. Please, if you definitely want it, please check out. Please, please, please check out if you want it. So and I'm nearly at the top of this point now. There we go. So as it's going higher, they're getting thinner. So make sure you press this side. Yeah. I'll give that to Kat because that's going to sell out. Then Kat can pack that away. Thanks, Kat. I have got... We can put this in... Oh, now. You see, this is gorgeous. This is Strawberry Thief, like you've never seen it before. Backing fabric. So it's 108 inches wide. So all you need to... Oh, well, they've done it in a bundle already for you. Two and a half metres. Two and a half metres. Plenty. You'll have some left over the back of your cushion. Um, imagine that on the back. So it's 108 inches wide. How gorgeous. How much is it? Oh, 69.95. Oh, yeah. oh, they're taking five pounds off. So you're getting two and a half metres there. That's five units. So it's worth... Hang on. No, not five. Uh, five units. That's right. Five units. They're taking five pounds off. So that goes uh, 14, 14 pounds a metre. That uh, 14 pounds a half metre, that. It's beautiful. Look at the size of it. And how gorgeous would that look on the back of this quilt? Oh, one left once you've all checked out of these. One left of the... Look at the size of that strawberry thief, though. Look, oh, that's it. Look at the size of it. It's just... Imagine that on the back of this quilt, because there's no strawberry thief actually on that in the quilt. No. Look at that. Even if you didn't use it for this, that's a gorgeous bundle to have. Because you're saving five pounds as well. It's beautiful. Thanks. And it's a lovely colour. It's a perfect colour, isn't it, for mm. that? OK, there's way too many people got that in their basket. Way too many of you got that in your basket. Have I got some William, I've got some William Morris... Uh, have I got some other William Morris backings? Bring them, bring them now. Bring them now, yeah, bring them now. Well, only because I, some of the William Morris ones, any of these will work. In fact... Oh. Oh, here I go with my dodgy knee. <laughs> it's the same fabric as that, look, but with a different colour backing. It's a different yeah. shade, isn't it? Right, OK. So, first of all, let's... How's this one doing? How's this one doing here? Oh, OK, too many people got that in their baskets, right? Then, these are all extra wide backings, right? I'm going to do... Let me just check. I'm just going to check which ones will work. I've got that. No, 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 no. They all, they, all those work. That's just that one that we had in the bundle by the half metre, isn't it, that one? So let's do this then. Right, so this is Strawberry Thief. Like, a, if you want a neutral backing... This is your strawberry thief in your neutral. Now, obviously, it's not in a bundle. It's by the half metre, 14 99 Now, is it the same size as that? Yeah. So if you want it in the neutral, two and a half metres is what... No, hang on. Yeah, five units is what you need, two and a half metres. Uh, uh, oh, I can't remember. There was five pounds off. Yeah, so how many units did I just say? Five. Yeah, take a pound. So they take it to 13 99 <gasps> Right, we're going to make this the same as the blue one. Yeah, buy five units of that one. Five units of that one. 
Beautiful though, isn't it? So that one there, it's not linen, it's cotton, but you could use that, the linen colour. Right, so that's that one and that one. Then if you want the willow bough or the willow, look, now this is the same as the brown fabric that's on there. But in the cream, in the ivory, in the, I don't know what colour they've called this one. Uh, hang on, I've got three willow bough. Well, hang on, this is F-U-V-T-54. Twelve nights and already that one in the ivory. This is this is the William Morris one. This is. Well, they're all from different suppliers, aren't they? You see. Beautiful, still gorgeous quality though. Twelve ninety nine for half a meter. You need five units for the backing of it. Then I've got this slightly darker one that ends ninety eight. Well, you see, that's nice as well. This is your fourteen ninety nine, the same as the, the two that we had before. Fourteen ninety nine for half a meter. Go on, just for today. Let's do this for you quickly, just for today to go with this quilt. Delphine, we're being very naughty. <laughs> Thirteen ninety nine, ninety five units. Five units, what you need. Right, now I've got a very, very gentle, almost, the design almost looks like it's faded out of this one. This is 85. Look, you see, now if you'd like a backing that's got no, that's just a backing, that you're going to see your quilting more of, 12.99. 12.99. Now, I've got this one here. Now, it's the same pattern as is in the quilt, but it's got the yellow background. So now, I'm going to be honest with you now, this wouldn't be my first choice, even though I love the pattern, because that there is mineral. The colour of that is like mineral, isn't it? Like yeah. kind of, the, this is warmer, this is lemon. If you look at this one, that's more lemony, so I wouldn't necessarily use this one for that. I'm just being totally honest with you, but this is just gorgeous for another William Morris project, isn't it, really? Uh, only because, it depends on what you like, you see. That one there on the wall is very minerally coloured, whereas this has got more fruity lemony in it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Uh, hang on. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I wouldn't necessarily use it for this quilt. But it's 14... Do you know what? We spoiled all of you. We spoiled all of you. Only for today, only till midnight... Only till midnight. I'm sorry, I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say that, but we've told everybody else. Yeah, you're off for a week. I'm in all week. So make sure you, for, uh, for this size quilt, you need uh, five units, two and a half meters. That's naughty. Let's put that away. Put it away, put it away, put it away. Right, now I've got another bundle of pla plain navy blue. If you'd like a navy blue, which, now this isn't extra wide, this is your 44 inches wide, so you need, uh, f how much of this stuff? Five metres of this, five, which is 10 units. 10 units for £34.90, saving £3. That's just if you want a navy blue background. Oh, look at the time we've got to go. Have you nearly finished, Duffin? I'm just pressing me last. Okay. Bit. The pattern's not available on its own, Sue, I'm afraid. But if you go to the website, we've got books that are Bargello, just Bargello books. Go and have a look on the website. The pattern of this one's not available on its own, I'm afraid, because it comes already in the kit. We, have, we, are, we can only do the pattern when we've... So if Delphine had designed it, we'd be able to have the pattern on its own, but this comes in the box, you see, and the box arrives at us as a box, as a kit. We don't, we don't pick it up or anything. Right, look at Delphine's... Um, that's it. Look. Okay. Oh, there's still one left. There's still one left. And how many people in baskets? 41 people in baskets. 40 wow. people Who's are going to miss out. 41. Oh, wow. look. One left. One left. One left. Check out. Check out. Check out. There's one left. Beautiful. Love that. Yeah. Well done. Don't leave me with one. I used to say that all the time. On, when I was at Rocks & Co, we'd, we'd tell all the sizes, there'd be one left, like one size L left. I mean, don't leave me with one. Uh, anyway, when are you next? Oh, I know when you're next. Two weeks. Two, two weeks' time with me. 
Two weeks' time, the 24th, did we say it was? Really good projects as well. Plus Even though she said so herself. Not that this one. Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Congratulations. Uh, lovely to see you. Always lovely to see uh, you. Well. Don't forget to go to Delphine's website. What's your website? Delphine Brooks Limited. Uh, no, Delphine, oh, Brooks, <laughs> Delphine Brooks .com And uh, check out over the next couple of days that the workshop will be going live. Yeah, and I, I will be here, so I will pop in on my... As long as it's not a date... What day? I might have to drive to... Tuesday the 30th. Oh, I, I'm really worried that that's the day I've got to drive to Warrington. It's, it's a, a 30 days or 31 days? 30, isn't it? Yeah, because I think I'm driving to Warrington because oh, I'm filming no. in Warrington. Well, the on the next one. Yeah, but definitely. Uh, I can't go into... Right, don't go anywhere. Delphine's going home now. We've got Quilt Kilts You Will Love coming up straight after the break. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p, p throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p, &P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? 
Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Look! Uh, you know what this is. You buy the, you buy the panel, you make a block, you send it in. I'll tell you all the details in a second. 12 get chosen, they get put in a quilt, they go on display at Festival of Quilts, nothing goes to waste because the ones that don't get chosen go to you to make them for charity. Let me have a talk. Right, graphics in. 5 .99. So remember last year, I'll show you last year's winner, winners in a second, but basically what you buy on this panel is you get these eight uh, two and a half inch by 14 inch strips here. You get this oatmeal piece of fabric here. What we need you today is to, make, uh, to do is to make a block that measures 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches so that when we sew it together with other blocks, it becomes a 12 block, but it needs to measure 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Do not wad it, do not quilt it, do not bind it, do not finish it. All we want is the top, the patchwork or whatever you've done. We just want the top. Send them in by 14th of June to the address that's on the panel with the still with the spelling mistake. Um, right, but then what happens is, so 12 will get chosen by the team. Now, Jess was producing me on uh, Saturday and she said she was part of last year's team. They were, I'm not allowed to be part of the team because they said I'd be biased and everything like that. So they will choose 12 winners. Those 12 winners will all each receive a hundred pounds worth of credit added to their Sewing Street account. That's the first thing, just for, to be chosen. Then those 12 blocks will be sewn together and be quilted and they'll go on the wall at, at the Festival of Quilts. When I launch Festival of Quilts on the Thursday, it'll be there for the whole four days, but we, you'll see it for the first time on the Thursday uh, at Festival of Quilts, right? Now, your block can be anything, right? It can be applique, it can be traditional uh, blocks, it can be um, applique, it can be embroidery, it can be whatever you want it to be. As long as it measures 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And you've, you, now you can add fabrics to it. It doesn't just have to be these fabrics. Now, Fran sent a message on Facebook yesterday going, there's too much fabric. There's too, you only have to use what's there. You could use that, if you because this one measures 13 by 13. You could cut that down to 12 and a half and use that as your base if you wanted to. Or use a separate fabric and just cut off your piecing. You don't need a background, do you? Because you can just piece it and everything like that. Depends what you're doing with it, right? Oh, yeah, you can buy as many as you like. Christine's already bought six. But she's not entering six times. This is what's quite... You can enter as many times as you like, right? She's got six, but she's not entering six times. She's using all six to make one block. You can do that. You can do that. Eve, you, what you could do is you use a couple of these and then just introduce your own fabrics into it if you want to. Do whatever you want. What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't add like yellow, pink and green and purple and like that because that might make it look uneven with the ones that are around it. Because, because what happens is, look, this is last year's winner. This is last year's winning, the 12 winners from last. This is the other Jan here. So she's done cathedral windows. Uh, we've got a traditional um, Dresden plate, a piecing. Then we've got three appliques here with embellishments, like this has got your embroidery embellishments on it. Uh, that one's got uh, fancy stitching on it from the machine. Then this one here has obviously got uh, different fabrics in to make the ears and everything like that. Then we've got more embroidery and applique here, full on applique. Now, the other thing is it doesn't have to be your original design. It could be a traditional block design. Oh, I haven't shown that. Let me show the last three, otherwise Christine will go mad. Christine's. Right, which is folded. We've got FPP and we've got EPP. 
But you see what I mean about adding, if you added too many other fabrics, it's not going to fit in with the theme, is it? So you can add other fabric, like uh, this one has here for the, the kind of black and the brown and the beige in there, but don't change the colour scheme completely. Right, uh, but then what happens is, if yours doesn't get chosen, um, we can't send it back to you, but what we do do is after the whole Festival of Quilts, we've all settled down and everything, we then say, would you like 12 of the blocks to go and make a, a, a charity quilt? And we'll send you 12 blocks to then make, or it's either 9 or 12 blocks to make your own charity quilt out of. So nothing goes to waste at all. Nothing at all goes to waste. So what you're doing today is you're buying this 5 99 panel, and then you've got, until, you've got to get it in by June the 14th. If it arrives on June the 15th... Oh, actually, which is my birthday show, June the 15th, a Saturday, it won't arrive on June the 15th. Uh, that's 15th, 16th, my birthday shows this year. So um, it's got to be in the day before. Oh, actually, I won't be on that day because I'm doing a charity fashion show on the night of the 13th. So I won't be on the show on the 14th, but I am on the 15th and the 16th. That's my birthday shows. I've got some... No, my birthday's the 19th, but I'm going away on the 19th. I'm going away on the 18th. Um, anyway, anyway, that's it, that's it, that's it. 5 uh, and, and the thing is, it won't sell out because we'll keep printing more and more and more. As you need them, we will print more and more and more. So don't be panicking, but don't leave it too late because you've got to get it made and back in. And everyone's going, oh, June, that's ages. Not that long. Oh, in fact, I got to text, I got to check my phone. Uh, my passport's been, my new passport's been delivered today. You know, I panicked about it because if you go to the website, it says it's going to take 12 weeks. And I'm like, going on holiday in June. Only sent it off last week. Last, it's back, it's back, it's been delivered today. But in fact, between now and two, uh, one o'clock, it's going to be delivered at my house. Right, let's do some quilt kits then. Oh, we're going over there then. New Mexico. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. This doesn't work properly. This is here, but this is over here. Here we go. Right, here we go. Stuart Hillard, New Mexico, quilt and cushion pattern. Uh, here we go. Very popular, this one. So you get all the colours. So these uh, half metres, or these fat quarters. Hang on, let me, I can't see my screen. It's half metres, seven and a half metres. Hang on, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, sorry. There we go. Right, so you get half metres of all your lovely colours here, beautifully chosen by Ben. Uh, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. Oh, that one feels heavier than the others. Half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. There's all your colours and there's your background, which is two and a half metres. Uh, it is £64.99. pence. What date was it done on, please? 27th of August. Is it FPP? First time I've ever opened it. Is it FPP, Ben? That's piecing, obviously, that one. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, you get the cushion pattern in there as well. Beautiful. £64.99. pence. Gorgeous colourway. Do you want to have a look at it on the wall behind me? Beautiful. What's the finished size? Is it on the graphics? No, it's meant to say the finished size on the graphics still now, isn't it? Hang on. It is... 57, by, oh, excuse me, 57 by 57 inches. Oh, that's not live. Oh, what's it? Why well, can't my finger, do it again then? Well, I was going like this, you see, trying to get my hand in shot, but it's, I don't know where it's going now. Go on. There it is. Brilliant. Gorgeous colours. Really, really lovely colours. Beautiful. Limited now. Say that again. Next. What's next? I've got a whole, a whole load of them. Oh, something on the wall. Oh, that's this one. There it is. Oh, sold out. Sold out. Sold out. No, that's not the price. Yes! Crash! 
Sold out anyway. And it's on three-way split there as well, look. Anyway, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Next. Oh, Tim Holtz, Cock John. Now, I've never seen this one. Uh, here we go. I know the fabrics. We used to have the croc. Oh, have you got it there? Oh, be careful. <laughs> Respect the quilts. So she came walking over with a quilt like this. One got caught on it. It went under her foot and she went over like this. It's trampled over it in her white wellies. Look, here we go. Beautiful. It might be sideways, but I don't care. Croc Jungle from Tim Holtz. Not 189.99, and it's on split pay. Where have you pushed that trolley to? There you go. Beautiful, 149.99. You've got five-way split. Why is this one on five-way split pay? Who knows? Here's all the fabrics. Now, they're all the reptilian. Look, they're all the same print, but in different colours there. Oh, actually, I've taken that back. That's not reptilian. That's the sand on the bottom of his cave where he lives. Where do they live? Where do, where do crocodiles live? Oh, I know. It's the, mm, the swamp. It's an intermediate. Yeah, when, I, when New Orleans were crocodiles everywhere. It was fantastic. We, the first few days we filmed on the bayou and it was like you drove there and it was like the road was like this. It was water and bog and marsh either side and crocodiles and everything. It was incredible. I'm just watching Frothy Dave on the telly upstairs because he's back from Hong Kong. It's a tele they put a telly right on the wall up there and it's right in my eye line, like up there. Oh, yeah, I'm just watching telly now. Yeah, let's distract John. If they could really distract me if they put the one of him in his swimming trunks on the, in the sea... He's standing there with a big conch shell like this in his little swimming trunk, like going like this. And I'm like, nobody's going to be looking at the gemstones, are they? Yeah, there we go. That's Crop Jungle, Tim Holtz, 149.99 on five ways pair. One left, one left. Well done. Oh, were you on that trip with him? There's a, there's a, 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 like, I think there's a, a bald man with a beard that goes with him a lot, isn't there, from next door? There you go. Who's that his name, Connor? Right, next. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxed ones here. William Morris. The William Quilt. Will I Am. Have I got this one? It's nice, this one, isn't it? Picture frames, isn't it? Right, 189.99. 159.99. Oh, I think I quite like this one. I'm not, we're not allowed to take them home, Ben, but I would. It's lovely, look. Look, this is love. Oh, sorry. I'm being really bad about holding this up one. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, fine, because I've got it the wrong way. There you go. Isn't that lovely? I think that's gorgeous. Let's just roll that up, because uh, if you just put that in my dressing room, cat, that'd be lovely, thank you. Yeah. Well, no, it's our dressing room. We have to share it with everybody, don't we? When Debbie Moore and Bella are in, you can't get in through the door. They've got suitcases galore. Right, it's an advanced beginner. Oh, no, everyone uses it. All the guests use it. Everything. Look. You just make square blocks. That's all you make. And then you set them like that. That's how, when you put it together, you put it in that order there. Two left of these. Oh, oh, oh. I was about to rip the tissue. I'm not going to because there's too many people want it. Too many people want it. £159.99 it's on three-way split. Pay £53.99 a month. It's gorgeous, that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. You've got lots of traditional fabrics in there. Really unusual setting, isn't it, as well? Beautiful. Three-way split pegs, 165. Now, that's over two metres long. And no one couldn't hold it up because I was holding it sideways. It's over two metres long, that one. Oh, I definitely want that one, Kat. I'll put it in the spare, one of the spare rooms. One left. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to nick that one. One left. 
I haven't got time to sit and sew. Oh, she's, she's checking on my packing away now. Right, well done. Sold out. It's like a conveyor belt, isn't it, this? I've got... No, not got another William Morris on this side. I've got Moda. I've got... Yeah. Right here. This was done by Catherine Wright last... Catherine Wright a couple of weeks ago. 29th of March. Yeah, that must have been the first day that Catherine did. Oh, I've got to... Right, so you get a 10-inch charm pack in here. Now, the only thing I'll tell you about this is you use all but two of the charm packs, right? Um, and then this he in here, that's your basic fabric, that's your binding and that's your border in there. Now, read the instructions properly because the bits that are cream look like they're squares, but they're not. They're like four by four and a half. And if you get them the wrong way around, the blocks don't work. So just read the instructions properly and then it'd be, it'd be fine. But you've got, you've got enough to go wrong twice, but that's it. Right? It's not 199.99. 68 inches by 84 inches. Again, two metres in size. 129.99. It's all Moda. Now, we don't know if this is I Canoe 2 or One Canoe 2. Beautiful. 129.99. One Canoe 2. Doesn't make sense, though. Oh, One Can Canoe 2. Oh, no. Doesn't make sense if it's One Canoe 2. Do you want I Can Canoe 2 or One Can Canoe 2? I canoe. Beautiful. 129.99. It's very simple. It's a very simple one to make. You've just got to make sure you get your squares the right way around, that's all. It's too big for a picnic blanket. It's two metres, isn't it? Two metres long. 129.99. Well, you wouldn't want anyone sit on. You wouldn't want people sitting on this, anyway, with the white background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going through. Uh, how many have I got left? Oh, okay. Can we? If we've got time, can you just go to YouTube? And go to the day Catherine did it because she had half of it hanging here. And I think it's more impressive when you see it hanging than it does just on the box there. 129.99. She'd made half of it on the, the first date that you got there. It was at the 29th. Beautiful. That's the actual quilt itself there. That's the quilt box that you see in there. There you go. Now, if we can... Uh, oh, OK. Is there a bit... Oh, oh, no, it's gone to me now, chatting away. Hang on, we're not... We'll just we whistle back a little bit. Just so you can see the, the size of it, because I don't think that gives you the full effect of it. There it is. Look, that's just half of it behind Catherine there. So you can see how big it is. Over two metres by a metre and three quarters. It's a big one, that. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, lovely. There's a trolley there. Don't worry, they're not falling on the floor. There's a trolley in front of me. Oh, now. There it is. I've only got one of these. There's only one of these. This is gorgeous. Now, I don't know where this one has come from, because we sold out, didn't we, Cap? We sold out of this one, and suddenly we've got one here, right? Look at all the fabric. It's, a, it's designed by Anna Marie. It's not one where they've gone, oh, let's put Anna Marie's fabric to, in together in a box. She actually designed this one. It's 2.13 metres square, so it's massive, 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 massive. Right, now, it should be... Three seven, three, seven, nine, nine. Right, where are we going? 
100 pounds off. First of all, it's huge, look, over two meters square, right? I'll just take you through the fabrics, first of all. These are all Anna, look, all Anna Maria fabrics, substantial amounts of all of them. They're beautiful, look. Absolutely stunning. Her use of colour and pattern. Now, every single design starts off as a pencil drawing, like an old-fashioned pencil drawing. She loves drawing flowers and nature. Lovely hearts there. So this is your fabric. Still going. Fabric, 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 fabric. And then this book are your instructions, right? A whole, look at this, right? A whole book of instructions. Because there's fussy cutting. It includes all sorts of things, look. Fussy cutting, piecing, how to cut the pieces out of the fabric to the best advantage, how you make a log cabin. Because if you look at the... We'll look at the front of it in a second, but it's kind of made of lots and lots of different sections. We well, can see there. So you've got your medallion in the middle... Log cabins along here, and then you create it like a log, uh, like a medallion quilt. Because look, there's your centre bit with your fussy cutting of your flowers, fussy cutting of your scallops. Then you make that into a square. Then you add your log cabins going across here, which then are creating a secondary pattern. And then you've got your big floral bits down the side, and then your border and your binding. Two hundred seventy-nine pounds now. That's at ninety-three pounds something split pay. Just check when it comes. 93.33. 93.33. It's over two metres square. There's only one left and there's loads. you got it on. Four in baskets. Four in baskets. All it takes for you to check out. And then it's yours. That's your price. That's your price. Not going to give, oh, you got £100 off. That is your price. That is your price. F well, first of all, look how much fabric you get in there. Go to a fabric shop. Buy all from us. We haven't got it anymore. But if you were to buy this from us... How much will that fabric cost there? I'm just seeing if she says how much. It's 100% cotton, obviously, 44 inches wide, screen printed. Um, here you go. A, a 16 and a half, over 16 and a half metres of fabric. Plus a whole booklet on how to make it. Actually, 16 and a half metres of her fabric... So that's 16, 16 is 32. So 30, what's 33 times, do I mean 33? Yeah, eight pounds. Right, this fabric alone on a good day, not had a written a new prices, right? That fabric alone is 264 pounds, right? Which means you're paying uh, 15 pounds for that beautiful uh, booklet, which you can use over and over and over and over again. That is brilliant. That's a brilliant price. Now, uh, it's weird. Four people got into their baskets and it's still sitting there. Do check out. Do check out if you want it. Now, I'm not going to throw that one because it'll go everywhere. Um, hang on a sec. What, where am we going to next? Oh, Nearly. I've got mixed cherries and I've got butterflies and blooms. Butterflies and blooms. Now, I don't know what's going on. We had the last one of these about three days ago, didn't we? And two have appeared this morning. Now, we think it's because this hour was scheduled before Hayley went on her holiday so then what we did was the other day we sell, sold what was left in the stock, but these were block, locked into this, um, into this hour. Alice and Marion made this one. Here you go. Now, the, this one is made, 119.99. This one is made with a big panel in the middle with them borders going around it. Now, I don't want to be rude because it's a lovely quilt, but it just shows you what good quality, uh, good uh, um, value those great big two metre quilts are. This is a lovely quilt, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely. If you love it, buy it for 119 99 But those other quilts I couldn't even hold up for 149 159 pounds. Just shows you what value they are, doesn't it? 
Beautiful. This is very easy. It's an easy one for a beginner, this one. Easy for a beginner. Two left. There you go. Just check out and they've all gone. Check out and they've all gone. Oh, too many people in baskets now. Yep, yeah, I'll just um, slide the trolley over, Kat, for me. Oh, sorry. Do one job or the other. Right, Henry Glass. That was Henry Glass, yeah. Yeah, Mick Sherry's by Dina Designs. Okay, so this one's over a metre by almost a metre and a half. Oh, okay, right. Look at this, I'll hold it up for you. The reason you've got that brilliant price, like way too brilliant price, is Hayley Marshall say was producing the day that this was launched. Look at the split pay. Three-way split, pay £30 or £29. Now, let's just have a look at it. because it's How many of these have I got? Oh, there's only two left. I don't want to open it, but I think there might be... Um, uh, no, templates. I think there must be templates in there. I'm just going to have a look now. Intermediate, yeah, piecing templates. So look, there's all your templates to put together. Beautiful fabric as well in there, isn't it? I'll just, I'm not going to open the box, there's only two left, but look. Gorgeous Dina designs. Mixed cherries, this one's called. So now hang on, I wonder how she, oh, I know how she'll do that bit, yeah. Beautiful. Check out, check out, check out, check out. Lovely price points, well, that isn't it? Look. Right, now I've got two cave quilts. You do need the book for the pattern, though. Each one's out of a, a different book. I have Quilts by the Sea, which has got dusky ribbons in it. So now this is a book for 24 99 25 years of patchwork and quilting. Uh, they've gone to the seaside. Now, uh, Chris Parker, who directs for us sometimes, I haven't seen him for ages, he goes, who takes a quilt to the seaside? Well, who doesn't take a quilt to the seaside? Look at the back of this book, right? There are projects galore in here. All of your patterns. Right, so there's loads and loads of patterns in here. So he tells you what you need to buy. But look, here's your instructions for Dusky Ribbons. So in a minute, I've got the Dusky Ribbons bundle coming up. That's fabric only. There's no, there are no instructions in there. 24, 19, so it's a lovely coffee table book at the front. You see, with all the lovely pictures in. Of what? You know because you've read it. Just asking now where he's gone. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, Hastings. It's nowhere near where you thought it was. <laughs> $24.99. But you do need the book if you're going to buy the next quilt kit, because the pattern is in the quilt kit. Okay? This box is heaving with fabric. There's so much fabric in here, look. Over 13 metres of fabric in there. Now, lots of them are the woven fabrics. 259.99. That was Cat. The loudest thing ever, Cat. She don't care. She's going home in half an hour. You off tomorrow? I'm off for four days. Oh, she's off for four days now. She really doesn't care. The, the, what, what was it? You had a jam donut. Jam donuts finally kicked in. 
We were doing the prep this morning and I got to one trolley and there's two Greg's bags on the top of them. And I was like, oh, we're doing Greg's pastries now. Right, where are we going with this? £40 off. £219.99, three-way split pay of £73.99 a month. I've said that yet. Uh, is that right? Oh, 33 33 so what, now the thing is, see the fabric in the middle there? You get a great big piece of that fabric to fussy cut just that one flower out of it and then the rest is left over. It's over two metres square, look. At 219.99. How many have I got? Oh. Four people in baskets, there's only three left. From the Cave Facet, various collectives. Now, these fabrics are slightly different. I I'll actually show you. They're from the woven range, like the linen-y woven range. So look. So some of them, like that there, is where you cut your flower out for the middle. And then the rest... Oh, this isn't the one I thought it was. I've got that completely wrong. That's the woven range. This is, uh, these are all your traditional caves, look. So you've got your flower that you cut out for the centre. So look at the size of this piece of fabric. All you're cutting out of this fabric is one flower. So you've got all of that for one flower. He says this every time. OK, so Ben would put a picture of himself in the middle of the quilt. Well, like you're falling into a vortex. There are a couple of wovens. Look, here's a woven one there. And then, but you've, then you've got your polka dots. Oh, hang on. There you've got your polka dots. You've got your jumble. You've got your ovoids. You've got more polka dots. More jumble. More jumble. More polka dots. More ovoids. Oh, actually, it's just the three different designs, look, in a multitude of colour. Oh, no, here we go. I've got more woven here. Then you've got your woven. It's more of an open weave, these. And then that there must be your, your main feature fabric. Five in baskets. Five in baskets. And how many left? Three left. Three left. We won't be getting this back in again. Remember, you do need the book, though, to get the instructions. Or maybe you're just thinking, I just love all those K fabrics. Don't need to make that quilt, make my own quilt with that. It's up to you. It's up to you. We don't mind. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. All that for $219.99. Gorgeous. Then we've got another. Oh, sorry, that goes for that. Then we've got another book here. Cave Facet Time the Seams. And look at the front cover. The cover star is your blue Suzani. So again, these are 23 new quilts inspired by classic patterns. So again, at the back, you've got all the patterns. And then the front, it's like a coffee table book or a downstairs toilet book. There's blue Suzani. For this book, I went to the dark side. So that's all about it there. And then the actual pattern is at the back here. He says. Da -da 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 -da. There's loads, loads of patterns. You can make loads of quilts out of here. There it is. At 19.99, that book. Now, this is where, I always question this, right? It says in the graphics here, say five pounds, doesn't it? Where is it there? Say five pounds. This book is meant to be £30. £30 take away five to me doesn't make £19.99. <sighs> I think Hannah was in charge of maths that day. £19.99. Oh, no, because I insult you when Hannah's on. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, if you want the Blue Suzani quilt kit, how many of these have got left? Let's just get this open. 
Right, here we go. Oh, sorry, Cal. <laughs> right, here we go. Now, remember, there's no instructions in here. The all instructions are in the book. Oh, I've been sent another closed one. These are all your ovens. Lovely colours, beautiful colours. Looks like there's more colours in there than that. There's applique and there's snowballing and there's piecing. Here's your crash in your price. How much was it? 259 Whew, 90 pounds off. 90 pounds off the recommended retail price there. Oh, it, what did I say? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, 110 110 What did I say? 90 yeah, 110. So you say, saying I was so good at maths and rubbish at maths. Three-way split pay. Look at the split pay now. £49 a month, £49.99 a month. Oh, don't worry. That last month I put my invoice in. It was added up wrong. It went through Haley, got approved. Went through accounts, got approved. And then we realised it was horrendously wrong. No. It's fine. It's sorted now. £149.99. Gorgeous. Now, what's really weird today is my talk back hasn't run out yet. And it's 12.37. Oh, we've got new batteries. We've invested in new batteries. That's good. Because normally by 11.30, 11, 11, 11.30, I've got new, new batteries. OK. Beautiful. Right, I'm coming back over to that table now. Right. Here we go, then. Oh, I've... can you see that side of my table? Hang on, let me just hold that over. Do the fat quarter to storage bag so cat can put... Oh, she's already started to put the fat quarters away. <laughs> this was our early bird this morning. You do not get the fat quarters. There you go. So, you get the bag. It should be 11 99 A reduced date to 10 99 just till midnight tonight. The little walls come out so you can make it a project bag. You've got pockets on the side here. If you want to put cardboard in there, you can do to make it sturdy. Or you put your scissors or your utensils in there. You've got your see-through plastic lid, which keeps everything dust-free, but also you can see what's in the bag. And these always sell ridiculously well at 11 99 So why anyone decided to put us an early bird and reduce it to 10 99 I have no idea. Uh, no, don't use it as a shopping bag, Ollie. Everyone would see all your shopping in there, Ollie. They can see that while you're queuing up at the till. You don't need to show them in the bag as well. It's awful, isn't it? Because I always check what other people are buying who are in front of me in the queue and, and tut. Oh, look. Like you see, you see a, a Polish builder buying loads of chocolate and white bread. That's me being totally, uh, j j what's it? Sweeping generalisations there. But my Tesco's is full of Polish builders. It is, though. It is. Where, uh, up that, uh, it is. No, no, no. And we've got, we've got Polsky schleps and everything up that part of town. In Twickenham, it became um, beautiful. I get some lovely food in Polsky schleps. 10 99 And builders with tattooed legs. At 10 99 OK, moving on. Where are you going next, then? Attic window quilts from Amber Makes. So we've got um, Blossoms. No, no, that's the one on the front of there. We've got, looks like a cat. Venice. That's Venice. This old rock is Venice. Look at this. Like, I'm, like, all I can see is this. Apparently that's Venice. That, oh, there's a cat. I've not seen this one before. Right, so there's your... What's that for there, then? There's your picture that you split up to make an attic window. There's your cat looking out the window if you want to put it on. What's that for, then? Oh, it's the scar... Oh. Oh, it's the... Fact, it's your flying geese down the side, is it? Righty ho. Right, 2022, this was very, very popular. And hasn't been when she was doing attic windows every Monday, wasn't she? So, 
You get a metre and a half of your white, half a metre of your soft grey, metre of your medium grey, your instructions and your panel. At uh, 39.99. 29.99. 29.99. Well, actually, take 9.99 off the instructions. That means you're paying £20 for your fabric. Okay, that's less than it was in 2022. Um, I wonder if these people know that they're in this. I wonder if this was a Rebecca Reed photograph. In fact, is that Rebecca Reed? Is that Rebecca Reed in the picture? It's Barry from upstairs. He doesn't look like a gondolier, does he? I don't think that's Venice. I think this is Brighton. Look, she's put them all in matching outfits on that side. All the gondoliers have all got matching outfits on. Which one? Which one? On the bridge? Yeah. What there? He's supervising. He's got the same outfit on. Oh, he's facing away. He's looking at that one. It's so funny, right? I got home the other day and Danny, my gardener, went, oh, the roofers on that house over there, they're ever so lazy, there's a lot of standing around. And I was like, how do you know when you're meant to be doing my back garden that the roofers on the house opposite are not working very hard? They all chat, don't they? Anyway, there's your attic windows. Venice. That's, um, I don't, uh, yeah, that's, um, right, move that over there. Well done. Now I've got, uh, oh, what's this one then? There's another cat on this one. Lupins. Blimey, they're big lupins. I love lupins as well. Absolutely love lupins. What's it look like finished? Have you got a picture of it finished? Oh, that's lovely. So the same, you've got exactly the same fabric for your background and your window frames there. So is that there for your flying geese again? Yeah, that's for your flying geese there. Beautiful. Uh, funny that she's done all the lupins the same colour, uh, almost the same colour. I planted mine with all different colours, all blending. This looks like it's somewhere like Austria, doesn't it? Or is it Llandidno or something like that? Snowden. I don't know. Let's see what the buildings. It looks like the sewage works here. Don't know what what's that there then? It's a funny photo. Oh, you can't see that. There, there. Little hut. Or it could be a massive house just miles and miles and miles away, couldn't it? Because look how big those loopings are. <laughs> she must have lay on the floor to take this picture, mustn't she? Anyway, let's move on. What time is it? I've only got 15 minutes. What's next? Grandma's quilt. Stuart launched this one. It's a Sally Ablett design. Lewis and Irene fabric. Now, uh, there are quite a few spelling mistakes in here, just so you know. Uh, you make two blocks. You make these two blocks to make that quilt. Uh, 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 46 by 46 inches. I wonder why she's called it a runner. Fat quarters. So you get three and a half metres. These are your fat quarters. And these are, this is your fabric. Lewis and Irene fabric. It was launched. There's a bumbleberry there. Two bumbleberries. 59.99. Oh, and also you're only paying for the... This is free. This is for free. You're only paying for the fabric. I love their bumbleberry. They do this is their this is their um what's it range? Their blender range bumbleberry and it come every season they launch four or five different colored bumbleberries. <clears throat> That's gorgeous. If you go to Delphine's workroom in her house, she's got a whole wall of bolts of bumbleberries in all the different colors. Cuz she works for Lewis and Irene, she does designs for Lewis and Irene, yeah. 
Beautiful, isn't it? $59.99 plus your free instructions. Why? Beautiful. Moving on. Not difficult. It's not a difficult quilt, that one. Blue Rose Garden. There you go. Now there's a mixture of applique. I don't know why that one's in a bag on its own. Oh, it's because you forgot to take it out. Okay, I thought it was in there special. Right, 39.99. What date was this done on? She did this with me. Last year. Yeah, February last year, not February this year. So we've got the different blues there. So it's this design, but instead of the oranges, there's the blues. But you still get the green for the green leaves. And th that's applique. Look, there's all your templates. Beautiful. $39.99. There's a Tudor rose, yeah. Or Rose of Yorkshire or whatever. Hi, Hawaiian. Oh, right, now, they're, they're, um, it's the fans and chopsticks. Now, this is when we launched this uh, um, Sanderson fabric. We did have it in two colourways. We've only got one colourway today. Yeah, just got it in the one colourway. Now, you've seen this a couple of days ago. So you've got your fat quarters in, to make your fans... That there's to make your chopsticks, and that there is your background fabric. And what you do is just make this block, like this, like a Dresden block, with your chopsticks, and then you just put them in different directions. You can decide which direction they go in. But these fabrics are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The sands and fabrics are stunning, aren't they? Beautiful. 63.99. You get your one, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters and four metres of fabric plus your instructions. There you go. There's only two of those left. Just two left today. One left today. Oh, they're going to go. That's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. Right, here we go. Now, I've got this uh, flying chains in two different colourways. This is the Liberty one. So you get two metres of your background, and then you get your Emily Bell, one and a half metres of that, one and a half metres of that. Then you get your Wiltshire Shadow, one metre of that, one metre of that. Plus your... Oh. Plus your pattern. 99 Two-way split way, 49 a month. Is that you on the gondola? No, Christine, it's not. I haven't got a beard. And Jennifer, I think you might have sat on your keyboard. Well, no, no, it's all just a, a row of, like, all different... $99.99. Now, if you love this, but you don't want it in Liberty, or you don't want to pay $99.99 for it, I do have it in soft pastels. Look. Now wait till you see the price of this one. Yeah, same one. $62.99. Good afternoon, John and all. I've just got home after painting at a fantastic Eid event. I'm going to watch your show on Catch Up. Thank you, Kat. My show or Threads of Life. Oh, yeah, what day is it? Oh, another, there'll be another show launching in about two uh, one hour's time, actually, on my show. Oh, it'll be Loose Threads today. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Loose Threads today. With Vix. Oh, is it Vix's? Look, I think it's Vix's premiere debut show on, my, on Threads of Life today. $62.99. But the joy of Threads of Life is you can watch it with if you like. So stay on for Hobby Maker um, uh, and then uh, watch mine later. 
Righto. Now I've got two more left. I like both of them. Oh, that's the, that's the temperature quilt, isn't it? Let's do the temperature quilt first. This is your temperature quilt, but in monochrome. 109.99. The idea is you take the temperature at the same time every day in the same location, and then you've got a chart here where you work out which fabric goes into which section, and then you literally cut a rectangle. For, so this is January, February, March, April, May, June. But in monochrome, it's going to look quite theatrical, isn't it? 109.99. Two-way split pay. Beautiful. Well, no, no, because if you think about this month, well, no, yeah, this month alone, even though it's rained every day, it's gone from like two degrees to 14 degrees in this month already, hasn't it? So it's going to be this year, it's going to be very odd, isn't it? But la last 10 months worldwide have been hotter than ever, haven't they? Oh, and then we've got the Delphine Big Cat Mosaic Quilt. So this, you get all your fabrics here. I've got this. I'm not going to. Don't worry. Uh, lilacs and purples and your golds. And then you've got a panel with all the cats on it. Look. Oh, no, we'll have floor, uh, produce cats in tomorrow. Then producer Laura. Then producer Kerry. I don't know who's doing uh, Thursday, Friday. Oh, yeah, then producer Kerry. Well... We don't know if it's producer Kerry or if it's um, producer Hannah. Not Ben. Ben will be in Amsterdam. Sitting behind his glass door. Beautiful. Right. Shall we do... Is it time for menu yet? Or have we got to watch something else? Oh, no, I've got a couple of extra wides. Look at this. Fourteen ninety nine for half a metre. At, at twelve. Uh, no, hang on. Fourteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Now I've got Cat's favourite coming up next. She wouldn't stop talking about this one in prep. Yeah. Look, it's quite theatrical, this, isn't it? World Globe Multi Extra Wide Backing. $12.99. She wouldn't, she'd just wrap herself in it. She wouldn't make a quilt out of it. I couldn't find England in it, that's why I was looking at the ceiling. You do what? I couldn't find England. Oh, she can't find the United Kingdom on here. Maybe it was before we were discovered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they missed us off. There's Ethiopia. Arabia, Persia. Tibet. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. We're not on there. We're not on there. Anyway, 12.99. What's the matter? Beige or top parchment? Thirteen ninety nine mode etchings in parchment. That one. Beautiful. Then I've got the same one in grey. And then I've got the same one in pale green. Okay, there we go. There's the green one. Thirteen ninety nine. Right, let's look at tomorrow's menu. Oh, they've not put. Me oh, now, John Scott in Simply Sewing magazine. I'm a bit worried about this because I, 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 they've done a double page feature on me in, in Simply Sewing. So we're going to be doing, but I haven't received mine yet, and I hope it is it on the trolley. Yeah. Oh, so the one's here. Is it in a bag? Yes. 
Oh, yeah, because they wanted me to sign them all, right? And I went, they normally come in a bag. So anyway, uh, there must be other things in that act, because I'm not going to spend a whole hour talking about me in a magazine. Uh, nine o'clock, Quilty Crossbody Bag with Sarah Patterson. That'll be fun, from Sewing Secretary. Then we've got Santangle Fabrics with Sandra Rushton. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Lou Gillet. Oh, Lou Gillet and Francis Top with Sarah Patterson. Then we've got Santangle, can't say that word, Pattern, with, not because I can't say it, I don't know what it is. Oh, Mackenzie, like as in Mackenzie. Is that, that's how you spell Mackenzie, is it? Oh, it could be anything. Like last week when we had vanilla and it was vinyl. Um, producer Cat's producing tomorrow. So we're having a good day. She'll be shouting. We'll have clocks. We'll have timing. We'll have buzzers. We'll have bells. We'll have everything going off. Uh, and uh, uh, make sure you check out on everything. And I'll see you. There was something I was going to say. Oh, yeah, Hobby Maker's up next. Clark Kent's on Hobby Maker. He's going to swirl around inside.